week, come join us for not one but two free concerts brought to you by Rich Newsom Motorcycle Lawyer. That's right, two free concerts at the world-famous Cackleberry Campground in New Smyrna Beach. Come out and see Confederate Railroad Sunday, March 5th, followed by Colt Ford Thursday, March 9th. Shows start at 8 p.m. We can't wait to see you there. Brought to you by Rich Newsom Motorcycle Lawyer. For more details, visit BigBikeLaw.com. QZ Kinetics can help you. Listen, if you are thinking about having surgery because you have back pain, shoulder pain, any kind of knee pain, maybe you have hip pain that uh, is caused from arthritis or maybe uh, something with you know, lingering pain from an injury, and you're probably considering surgery because you, you can't live like that all the time. If you, if you have that kind of pain, you're probably sitting on the couch a lot. You can't go out to the movie theater. You can't go to the, the mall. You can't do anything. It can also uh, start to ruin your 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 job and, and your relationships. Instead of having surgery, look into this. QC Kinetics, they can help you. QC Kinetics can help your body regenerate your own tissue, and these treatments can help change your life. It can really get rid of all that knee pain, back pain, or shoulder pain. And if you want to look into it, they've got some availability this week to sit down and talk to you. It's a free consultation. It's called QC Kinetics. Here's the phone number, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980 for QC Kinetics in Orlando, Winter Park, and the Villages. It's QC Kinetics. It can help you, help you get rid of that knee pain and that shoulder pain and that back pain without having surgery. Once again, QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. Make sure you let them know that Russ and the Monster sent you. On the podcast Really Know Really, join best friends Jason Alexander and Peter Tilden along with experts, newsmakers, and celebrities in a search for answers to life's most baffling, intriguing, and annoying questions. You know, those things that make you go, really? No, really? I think there was a 17-year-old in Rhode Island who ran a candidate that was a defect. Really? Wait, wait, that's news to me. That's, that's, that's Really No Really right there. Really No Really. Listen to Really No Really on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Could you use monthly payments to help meet basic needs? Like putting food on the table, paying the rent, or buying new shoes for growing feet. Find out about Supplemental Security Income. You may qualify if your income and financial resources are low and you are 65 or older, or an adult or child with a disability or who is blind. Call 1-800-772-1213 or go to ssa.gov slash SSI. Produced by Social Security at U.S. taxpayer expense. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. You're listening to WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Available everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. We are an iHeartRadio station. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. We're going on a Tuesday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thanks so much for tuning in. We do have a good program for you today. Lots of stuff coming up. We'll get you caught up on what's happening out there with woke news, but with tote news, really. What you, uh-huh. do, what you do that's new at 4 o'clock today? We'll uh, go over my suggestion of the WTF Mark Marin interview with Wayne Brady and find out what Deb has to offer today as well. Uh, we have trivia, Ross Thoughts, Last Call, Your Calls, Texts, and Talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim Straight Ahead. It's producer Jack Bradshaw. Good afternoon. Comedy alien, Ross Padgett. Let's get it. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Find us easily on social media, Facebook, Instagram, at The Jim Colbert Show. On Twitter, it's just at Jim Colbert Show. And, of course, all day, every day at JimColbertLive.com. That's where you can actually watch the show. Just click right through to our YouTube channel, and off you go. Watch us sit and talk. Riveting. And rock. Yeah, what's going on, man? Everything everything good for a Tuesday? Is she dead or alive? Oh, Deborah? Yeah. Oh, she's good. What's well, up with that yeah. pause? <laughs> no, no, I was just being dramatic. Uh, yeah, so I was going to give you an update immediately. All right, so Deb, uh, if you guys listened to the show, Deborah, yesterday um, during the show, by the way, did not say a word about this. Did not say a word about it before the program. Did not say a word about it going in. Uh, in that 5 o'clock break coming back, uh, 4.45 break, she says, hey, do you mind if I ask 
the audience about something. And I said, no, what's going on? She goes, well, I had this headache called, um, and I, I did some research, and I think it's called a thunderclap headache, and I can't break it. Now, you got to remember, for me, this wasn't really that alarming because Deborah often has headaches that she just doesn't really tell anybody about. She'll just kind of come tell me, hey, look, you know, I've just got a little bit of a headache this, this morning or this afternoon, and she will never, like, lay it on or uh, how how uh, how bad it is. So it was really shocking to hear her ask that yesterday because she's that's really not like her. But she did tell you when she got in, she did mention she had a headache, and but we, you know, Again, look for Advil or ibuprofen or something. Yeah, her, she has headaches. She doesn't say thunderclap or doesn't talk about you know. Uh, she had a little bit of a fear in her eye yesterday, a little bit, you know, regarding this headache. She's had a bunch of headaches. We've been sitting here together for you know four years now, uh, and I know she deals with those things. She's talked about it on the air often. Yeah, and as we mentioned yesterday, this is what you we call new pain is something she was not familiar for someone who gets headaches a lot. Right. This was a new form of headache. That's right. And that thing you said yesterday, I didn't really pay attention to it yesterday and like give it the credit it was due, but that is a wonderful little saying. That new pain idea. Yeah. Look, you know, I I, I my body is fifty five. My mind is probably thirty five. I don't think like I look. Hell yeah. Uh, and I, I, You're and, like a mental Benjamin Button. But I do have to pay attention to my age because this vessel is all I have to uh, do the things I want to do. And Jack is a thousand percent right. You know, every time now, you know, you you know, you're, you're peeing a little too much. You think something's wrong. You get a little ache behind your, behind, under the skin. It's not like a bruise or a sore muscle. You don't know what it is. Yeah. Man, that happens a lot when you get into your 50s and stuff. You just don't know what the hell to think about it all. I, I, I remember, real quick, I remember it was nine years ago. It was a Wednesday. I was coming back from hosting trivia, and I'm driving, and I just felt like this sharp new thing. I'm like, and I came in the next day. And I, uh, in the afternoon, and I, you know, I, I, I said I had some new pain, and then we just started talking about new pain. Oh it's yeah, a, new pain being scary pain. It is. It's scary as hell, especially it, if it's not like a joint thing where you can go, oh yeah, it's probably arthritis. I'm getting older. I, I beat mm. my body to death. It's these pains you can't understand. Like I'm telling you, when I got that vertigo thing, I did not know what to do. Like I'd never even heard of that. A new pain is pretty funny because we always respond to it like someone just gave us bad news because <laughs> someone did give us bad news it's right. us right yeah, yeah i always go oh man Ugh. it's not even like a oh i'm in pain grunt but it's like right. i don't want to deal with this so deb goes to the hospital last night she actually texted us all in a group text her uh her fiance chris who's a wonderful guy by the way um you know had already contacted her and they met at the house threw in the in the car and then off they went to the hospital uh she got a ct scan last night and uh it showed nothing but Here's what the doctor said, and let this be a lesson to everybody, including myself, because I had no idea this was the case. And I'm paraphrasing here, so don't quote me, please. I know people really have a problem with that, you know, quoting me. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, what she was saying was, is the doctor said you waited too long to come to the hospital because if this was brain bleed, after 15 hours for the initial like headache that you think would have caused that kind of thing, uh, that blood would have been gone. It would have, you know, I guess it would have been reabsorbed or redistributed into the body and it would have been gone. So there would have been no evidence via uh, CT scan because she waited so long because the headache happened that morning, like yesterday morning. So she waits all day, comes to work and then, you know, drops a bomb at four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. Like, Hey, got a bad headache. The one she's been suffering with for like nine hours already. Ugh. And uh, so then when she gets to the hospital, so outside of the CT scan, she had to have a spinal tap. This one goes to 11. Yeah, this one goes to 11, 100%, mm -hmm. to look for blood in her uh, spinal fluid to see if there was brain bleed or, you know, a leak of some sort, which is all clean. Thank God. I hope they have, don't have any problem with me sharing this. But um, Well, it's a definite HIPAA violation. Yeah, yeah, no question. I Absolutely. Mean, and if it's not a HIPAA violation, it's a, you know, a misuse of a friendship. Yeah, yeah. Can we dump this day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, uh but yeah, she uh, she's doing fine. Yeah. Uh, the only reason she's not here today is she still has a tiny bit of a headache, but she's exhausted because they didn't get home until three thirty, four o'clock this morning, Woo! and uh, it was a long night in the old emergency room. She thought it would be like a you know a slide in, need a CT scan. That thing can't be crowded, right? Yeah, it's like a drive through, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly, right? Well, they <laughs> did the CT scan, and then they're That's like, "Yeah, we need to get more. Yeah, yeah. We need to do more." Yeah, I mean, it's final uh, tap. Shame on her, her fiance. Why is that? His day off, he was not listening. I know, no, no, no. I to know. the show, the mayor of Apopka. That's right. Had to call <laughs> her fiance to say, "Hey, I think you need to get Deb to the hospital." And by the way, <laughs> I asked her this morning about what I said yesterday, and I was one thousand percent correct. What's that? She, 
she's such a mensch. Uh, and for you people who don't know what that means, I mean, she's such a good person. She's all very, giving, very, very giving, thoughtful yeah. of yeah. other people's time and things that she, her, her, uh, fiance worked so hard because Mount Dora is such a big events center through this time of the year because when the weather's beautiful, that town's like every weekend, it's like 30,000 people in it. Well, he's the events guy. So he manages all of that for that tiny town that gets so many people coming in. And yesterday was like his only day off. And she didn't want to bother him on her day off to have to take her to the hospital yeah, and yeah. ruin his day. How about that? She might be 5'1", but she's a gentle giant. <laughs> she is. Uh -huh. She's taller than 5'1". Is she? Yeah, probably five four. I mean, you know, that's going to be a HIPAA violation let's, too. Yeah, right? Let's yeah, me yeah. let's measure her tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, she'll be back tomorrow with us because uh, we have Daryl Payne and uh, Daryl and Penny are coming back onto the show. Uh, Paul Fection uh, Dog Training. Uh, they're coming back on the program after a little hiatus. They've been busy. Yeah, they've been very busy. So we get to see them again tomorrow. And I know Deb wanted to uh, be all powered up and ready to go for their return. So she's taking a day off. She'll be back with us tomorrow, and uh, she's fine. And you guys can all wish her well, wish her well on Facebook if you want. Uh, she's a great person. We're uh, and, looking and, to have her. And you know Deb. She lives on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Lives so on Facebook. She's, she's there always, now. Always there. Right? She's go at Real Radio 1041. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. You can always text us, 77031. I'm tooling around on social this morning, and I see somebody that makes a statement. And I'm, I'm interested in what you guys think about it. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Also, I had a buddy... I've got a buddy. You got a buddy that made a terrible facial hair decision? No, no, he did not make a terrible facial hair decision. Because I have one of those. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I see a terrible facial hair uh, Ouch. decision, but... Ouch. Yeah, yeah. Jack is now shorn. You shaved your beard off. Yeah, you, I did. You're completely shorn. No more beard chaw. Any reason? Uh, Season's over? I was done. Yeah, yeah? I was just done with it. It and seems I easier. It Was it not easier to manage it with not shaving? A little bit, yeah. I only had to shave the the neck part as opposed to the top, but the um, the itchy. No, it wasn't even that. What was bugging me was that it was still gray on the side. Oh, so the vanity of it all. No, well, if I was really vain, I would have just bought the hair color and and yeah, made you it all can't brown. Do that because that would wrecked your ass. Yeah, and then you looked like a BP oil spill. <laughs> I, I know yeah. you would have. Yeah. <laughs> but this, so it was dark on the sideburns and. Like the mustache itself was dark, and then it was these gray uh -huh. patches. And so I look at it, and it didn't even look like a full beard. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, I was done with it. Jack you, here for Flex Seal. You, was, you essentially had Doctor Strange growing out of your you face. Did. That yeah, little, yeah. that yeah. Pepe Le Pew, yeah. but it's, still young. So I did some interesting shaving, and I may, and I'll be, I'm, I'm working on that reel. I'll probably put oh, up you, tomorrow. You shaved into some different. Uh, you give yourself mutton chops. I, 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 I gave then... myself some different. Yeah, oh, looks. I like that. That's yeah. good. I, 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 oh, now nah, I won't even say. Yeah. It. Okay. Good. Go ahead. It is disturbing. What's disturbing? I can see your jowls again. I know. You got. He just turned. He, and again, how do you just lose twelve years of age? Yeah. See, he just uh, shaved off twelve a decade. Maybe that's his look. He's looking for the thirty-two year old terminally ill that's phase. Terminal. You know, what, what, what terminally ill? What you look thirty-two and sick. By the way, whoa, you, you, you don't look thirty-two and sick. You're more like forty-two. And forty-two and sick. The uh, but Ross didn't pull any punches. He does not like it. Yeah, yeah. he is mad. I shaved. Yeah, and, goose egg. Yeah, see, dude, that's. I'm telling you, that's a big thing with kids. Did you ever? Did you have a beard when the kids were young? Well, what are you trying to say here? No, for <laughs> no, a I'm time, say, but not not where they only knew me like that. Yeah, I, yeah. I had the goatee yeah. for a little while. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a I had a beard as a younger man. And uh, and a goatee. I've had that for a while. And my kids were really young, and I shaved it because I made it a shaving error uh, with my uh, trimmer. I put it on the wrong setting and just buzzed a damn line right down my face. And my kids were horrified. <laughs> Absolutely horrified when they saw me without my beard. So I swore to never, ever, ever show them a bare face again. Or my wife. Because I did it one time for her. She wasn't a big fan of it. Well, and I believe you kind of revealed that when Ross was trying to get you to shave, and yeah, yeah, you were not, just you were not, not having happen. it. Big fan of the sex. Yeah, <laughs> uh, big fan of the sex. And I mean, is is it even comfortable? Do you feel yeah, better yeah. about oh, yeah, yourself? Great. Yeah, you can hide behind it. It's great. I mean, when you have one of these things, if you have a full one, you can hide right behind it. Throw no, on glasses I'm, next thing you know, you're Jim Morrison. Uh, I don't think I'll ever experience having you a full not. beard. You're, it's and, in, and you're incapable. That's probably why I feel so Jelly? comfortable. Yeah. With yeah. my stance hey. on Jack's butt cheek face right now. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. 
I bet money that the hair implant people could take hair from the back of your scalp and implant it on your jaw so you could grow a beard. Would you do that? No. I, then I, I would look like a farm animal. No. You I would, would look like a wise farm animal. I think you would look fine. We could make that happen. Look like a carp. We you know could, what I'm talking could, about? We could make that happen. Uh, I would have long whiskers. Yeah, That's not the same hair. Yeah, I, don't, I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fine. We could get some from your other area, too. Make it bristly. But that checks out a lot more than the hair on top of my head. Get some on your chest, too. Does your does your wife mind that you're bare? Like you don't have any hair? Does she consider that? I mean, does she have a thing with it or whatever? I mean, no. She, no likes, it, she likes you slick? I think she likes me looking innocent. Yeah. Creepy. 407-916-1041. You can text us at 7703. I was going to tell you, I got a buddy, and this buddy I've known for a very long time. And his brother, um, and his brother was, I don't know, just going through some issues and just kind of ghosted for a while. And then just shows back up the other day. And it was a it was quite a moment. I want to talk to you guys about that situation. Plus, we have a bunch of stuff to go about. We never got to the board yesterday, gender neutral, uh, gender neutral names. More and more people are choosing to not have something in their life, which is a complete culture change as well, plus tons of other stuff. Florida bill that's on the house right now. Trying to end something you do with your pets? So much to talk about today. What's coming up for news, guys? Oh, my goodness. Well, we got Putin. Guess what Putin's going to do? Putin's going to Putin. Yeah, he is. We also have breaking news about the oldest toilet in the world. And by the way, let's just wrap up Toke News with reminding people that it's okay to let grandma's grandma. Okay, that's And fine. much, much more after the break. You got it, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio. Got an iPhone? So sweet. Just tell Siri to play Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Our heaviest traffic continues eastbound on I-4, approaching U.S. Highway 27 in Polk County up to 429, and then again between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. A slow ride to westbound between the Beach Line and State Road 535, and also between World Drive and Osceola Polk Line Road. It looks like the 408 is up to speed, as well as the Turnpike. If you see traffic problems, make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto Insurance. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you could stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote today at directauto.com. Savings vary, terms apply. National General Group, Winston-Salem. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. I'm Martin Hoke, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I've told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Josh, quote, after walking around my whole life being a mouth breather, I was excited to try Navage. I read the directions carefully, pressed the button, and oh my gosh, what a sensation. So much mucus, so much crud, but oh sweet, merciful air, I can finally breathe you through my nose. Never have I ever taken such an amazing breath in my life. This is a life changer, unquote. He's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navaj is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. Thank you for calling Navy Federal Credit Union. How can I help you? Hi, if I'm in the Army, not in the Navy, am I still eligible for membership? Yes, you are. What about my sister in the Air Force? Her too. And my dad's a Marine. We serve all branches of the military, veterans, and their families. My dog is a retired military working dog. I'll see what I can do. Find out if you're eligible at NavyFederal.org. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Insured by NCUA. Well, hello there. I am the Guitar Hotel. I have over 3,000 of the newest slot machines and nearly 200 table games with real cards and real dealers. Come experience my incredible lineup of restaurants, bars, and, of course, Hard Rock Live or spend a day soaking up the sun in my 18 acres of poolside paradise. 
I can't wait to meet you. Visit hardrockholly.com to find out more. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. Some roads take us to where we want to go. Other roads lead to Mo. In a world full of dangerous roads, there's only one thing you need to know. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. You know what sounds good? Like really, really good? A breakfast bagel at McDonald's. And guess what? They're back. I'm talking about those freshly toasted bagels with real butter, like a tender steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Or how about a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel? Or what about a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel? Order yours and save 20% when you use the McD app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid 131.23 through 330.23 at participating McDonald's. Valid once per day excludes tax. Cannot be combined with any other offer. McD app download and registration required. No matter what I get, it's 20% off every day when I spend a dollar on the McDonald's app. So yesterday was my please the whole fam on the way to the game meal. Today is my finally get them to stop asking are we there yet meal. Who knows what tomorrow will be. Maybe a delicious crispy chicken sandwich all for myself meal. Whatever it is, it's a win. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid through December 31st, 2023 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Excludes tax. McD app download and registration required. I'll second guest dinners with friends because they can be interrupted by diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or oily stools. It turns out I have EPI, or exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which means I'm missing the enzymes needed to digest food. My doctor prescribed Creon, pancrelipase, an oral prescription medication that replaces pancreatic digestive enzymes. Creon treats EPI due to cystic fibrosis, chronic pancreatitis, pancreatectomy, or other conditions. Creon may increase your chance of fibrosing colonopathy, a rare bowel disorder. Tell your doctor if you have a history of intestinal blockage or scarring or thickening of your bowel wall. If you're allergic to pork or if you have gout, kidney problems, or worsening of painful swollen joints. Call your doctor if you have any unusual or severe gastrointestinal symptoms or allergic reactions. Take Creon as directed by your doctor and always with food. Do not chew capsules as this may cause mouth irritation. Other side effects may include blood sugar changes, gas, dizziness, sore throat, and cough. These are not all the side effects of Creon. Creon is the number one prescribed EPI treatment. Ask your doctor about Creon for EPI and visit creoninfo.com or call 800-633-9110 to learn more. That's C-R-E-O-N info.com. Hear that? That's the sound of water coming from leaking pipes. Hi, this is Pete from Repipe Specialists. Let's end those leaks and the damages they can cause to your walls, ceilings, and floors by replacing those old, corroded, or brittle pipes with high-quality new ones. With over 30 years of experience and work that's guaranteed for life, Repipe Specialists will expertly and seamlessly repipe your entire home in just one to two days. Call us by this Saturday to save 20%. So long, water-dripping drum solos. If you have leaks or even low water pressure, call Repipe Specialist now at 407-337-4020 to schedule a free home estimate and to save 20% on your entire job, plus zero down, zero interest financing for the first 18 months on approved credit, local and insured. Call 407-337-4020 or go to Repipe.com. That's 407-337-4020. Repipe.com. Repipe Specialists, making your repipe job fast, seamless, and simple. That's our specialty. And now for today's Roblox winter weather alert, iHeartland on Roblox has been walloped by a winter snowstorm. It is a winter wonderland. You can now ice skate at State Farm Park. In State Farm neighborhood, you can compete in snowball fights, grab a hot cocoa and cookies, and more. There's also special events from your favorite artists and podcasters all month, along with scavenger hunts, exclusive content, and unique items. So enjoy the festive winter weather at iHeartland on Roblox. Head to iHeartRadio.com slash iHeartland today. Order your Hummer EV at OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Colbert Show returns now on Real Radio 1. Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us easily, 77031. 
Uh, find us on social, Facebook, Instagram at The Jim Colbert Show. Or Twitter, just at Jim Colbert Show. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack is over there as well. Let's get some tote news. And now it's time for Woke News. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On The Jim Colbert Show. All right, Jim. Do you know the number one rule? What is that, buddy? House rules. What's that? We can't start the news Until? because the news... Oh, that's right. It's on a clapper. The news is on a clapper. God, I forget. Let me get this going. Welcome to Toke News. I'm your host, Ross Paget, and my lead anchor... Jack Bradshaw. <laughs> I thought you were going to introduce <laughs> me, bro. We practiced this. You're yeah. supposed to say... You sp- say my name. Say my name, say my name. Russian President Vladimir Putin. Good old Vladi Poots. Okay. The man. What about him? Well, not the man, actually, because he continues to assert his country. Let me clarify. I don't think Vladimir Putin (laughs) is the man. You better really clarify there. (laughs) All right. That is super clarify there. No new segment has ever started like that in the history of the last two years. (laughs) What a dope. Vladimir Putin continues to assert his country had no choice but to invade Ukraine. Right. Putin, it's, our, it's our fault. Putin addressed his country's federal assembly today, just days ahead of the one-year anniversary of the invasion of Ukraine. Mm-hmm. In his speech, he blamed, as Jim just said, the West That's for right. the start of the war, telling lawmakers, and I quote, they started it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a five-year-old. Yep. Putin also made the claim that Ukraine was hoping to be provided with nuclear weapons. Much of the speech made it seem as if Ukraine was a Western puppet. Every time I check out the news and I hear more and more Russian stories and about us getting a little bit more involved kind of by the month, kind of sketches me out. Are my fears warranted? Well, I I mean, I think we just got some good news. Didn't China just say that they are not going to supply Russia with weapons? Because that was on the table for a little bit. That would have been kind of hairy. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. You know, Putin, we, you know, we don't know anything about Putin's mentality. I think that's the thing. I mean, I, you know, we, I, I don't know how much more aggression that is going to be, a, you know, it, that he, I don't know how much he's going to tolerate when it comes to the West and other countries supplying them uh, with weapons to continue the war going on. A war I think he probably thinks they should have won a, a six months ago. Staying in the international block, heading a little west from Russia to Istanbul, where survivors of the earthquake that jolted Turkey and Syria 15 days ago, killing tens of thousands of people and leaving hundreds of thousands of others homeless, had to deal with more trauma and loss yesterday, uh, or actually earlier today, after another strong quake and aftershock rocked the region. 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit uh, last night. Ha, um, had its epicenter in, in the uh, deaf district of Turkey's Hade province, which was the areas most affected by the February 6th magnitude 7.8 quake that killed nearly 46,000 people. Goodness. By comparison, they're looking, uh, you just have six people reported dead and, and 294 others injured, uh, some critical uh, with yesterday's earthquake. Uh, but, you know. Yeah. You already took out nearly fifty thousand. Right. Unreal. Do you ever? Uh, do you guys ever see an administration's name and halfway through reading the name, you go, "Wow, I want to take a nap because this sounds boring." <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hit me with this one. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. <laughs> snore. It's important. It is important. They do good work. And they they're do. getting to the bottom of some questions because yeah. they are asking Tesla for information after a driver in one of the company's cars was killed over the weekend. This is now in addition to dozens of special crash crash investigations that they have already opened into Tesla vehicles where autopilot was suspected of being used. While it hasn't been confirmed yet that the Model S, or as I like to call it, models, involved in the car crash in Walnut Creek, California, was using the self-driving feature. That vehicle is currently under recall for issues with the system. This might go all the way to the top, Jim. Yeah, this they crashed into a fire truck that was parked diagonally in the middle of the road. Uh, and that's been. You know, this is the 14th death, I think, uh, from self-driving apparatus from Tesla. Because I read that story today, and I was like, wow, no other car gets mentioned in a crash with a death 
on this planet than Tesla. No other car. There's a hundred. I mean, I don't know people how, how many people die in car crashes every day in America, but it's a lot. But everyone that's like Tesla gets mentioned all the time. But it's because of the self-driving feature. Absolutely. Uh, but speaking of uh, transportation and electric vehicles, they are adding some to Orange County, uh, Orange County schools. Six electric school buses will soon be driving Orange County. These will require a driver uh, in, for Orange County public school students to and from school as the district becomes the first in Florida to put these vehicles on the road. Now, the new buses will be used on routes in uh, West Orange and in the Pine Hills area and will help uh, OCPS test whether the more expensive electric buses save money in the long run because of lower fuel costs. Costs. There you go. Because it costs about three times as much for the electric school bus than the diesel alternative. Making kids even more expensive. <laughs> kids were pretty excited to uh, dr- uh, to ride in that first bus. Uh, and the driver, who's been a uh, an OCPS uh, bus driver for 20 years, said the electric bus was much quieter, smelled better, offered a smoother ride than the diesel-powered Vehicle. So they were able to actually do that with uh, a grant from the state's Department of Environmental Protection covered the distance, uh, the difference in the cost. So they ended up paying what they normally would for a diesel powered bus. But instead, they got the three times more expensive electric bus. Right, right, right. Now, so hopefully over the long runs, what they're hoping is it'll pay off uh, with fuel costs. Right. Right. Obviously. So six buses. How many do you think Orange County schools operate? How many buses do you think they have? Oh my God, Orange County for the just for the public busing system for links? Yep. No, just for the schools. Just for the schools. I'll no. go 110. I think it's going to be more than that, buddy. I, I get. Uh, I have no idea. I'll go. I'll go 350. A thousand. Yeah. They have a thousand diesel buses, but six of them now are electric. There you go. Like I get it. Like we guess about all these things mm-hmm. throughout you know this entire program, but when you get it that wrong. You just feel so dumb. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why you don't get a, a ding. I like it bell. when you go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was that's a, my favorite thing. If my math does, I was a thousand percent off. Yeah, well, I mean, I wasn't much <laughs> better, buddy. I said 350, and I was way off as well. <laughs> oh, but he was closer than you. Ding. Ding. Over to you, Ross. Ding. Jim, what's the first thing you think of when I say these three words? Chinese state media. Chinese state media? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little pop quiz for you. Yeah, I think of one channel, uh, very directed news. Very directed news. Well, Chinese state media reported something that might, you know, change our perception. Maybe they're having a little bit of fun on their NBC over there. Okay. Because Chinese state media reported last week that a research team found broken parts of a 2,400-year-old toilet. This is the world's oldest known flush toilet because it also came with a bent flush pipe. Uh, the ancient sanitation device, which is so much fun to say, mm-hmm. was discovered among the palace ruins at the archaeological site in central China. According to state-owned China Daily, the researchers believe the toilet was located inside the palace. Okay. I think you guys should choose more countries like maybe Turkey and India to do stories about that way you can start mentioning these small provinces but this is but, but okay oh. okay what what was it over i just i want you to say it that one was for me for the turkey province but that one's for you yeah, yeah, yeah. archie archaeological yeah archaeological okay i nailed it whatever but that's the oldest toilet yeah i saw that today that's interesting right i mean like 2500 years ago i just like how like it's government funded news and they're like big <laughs> right. big stuff guys need to know this found a super old toilet it's that's, shattered that sure beats news about famine <laughs> yeah. speaking of old speaking of old what is fort pierce known for oh my god uh <laughs> turkey well, there, legs there's a uh, there's a state college down there Indian River, I think uh, Indian River State College is there. Uh, everyone de- defense. Knows, everyone knows Fort Pierce is known for alligators in retirement homes. Oh yeah. But when those two meet, you got trouble, as discovered by an 85-year-old woman walking her dog yesterday. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission said investigators responded to an alligator bite yesterday, but what they discovered was the body of the woman, deceased. The 10-foot gator was captured and put down. The story is even weirder than that. The okay. dog survived. Right, yeah. The The gator went after her dog. She yeah. tried to save the dog from the gator. Gator grabs her, kills her. Dog survives. Yeah. 
There's a short movie to make. Yeah. What? That sounds. That's I, terrible, right? You know what sucks? That's the, is can I that, tell you, that's the worst parable of all time. The first thing I thought of was like, oh, I feel so bad for that dog. Right. Yeah. No, no. The dog made it. Medical teams from the U.S. CDC and the U.S. Department of Health, Health will be there this week to help assess the risks for 5,000 residents. Some Ohio residents are now using uh, Norfolk R- Railroad after the toxic derailment after dealing with headaches, sore throat, and other ailments. This is not getting out of the news anytime soon. It's not, but it's weird. It hasn't also dominated the news. It's weird. It happened, and it took 10 days for everybody to pay attention to it. And now it's like, it's like when you remember when you had a friend throw up in school in the hallway? Yeah, like, ever, like nobody would go near that. Like I mean, nobody. But like I ain't touching it. Yeah, it's almost like this is that. Like like every other agency. I think the EPA just came in on it. What yesterday? A couple days ago, just took over the yeah more the than a week thing. after. Right, exactly, man. Like what is going on? The federal government should have been on top of that in no time. Correct. Uh, well, speaking of government schools, we have the U U N yeah University. Sorry, wait. Let's, yeah, let's I give it to him. Yeah, baby. Take oh, that, Bradshaw. Oh, that felt great. Deb's feeling like a million bucks right now, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're killing it. Former UCF <laughs> president, Dr. John Hitt, who led the University of Central Florida for 26 years and helped transform UCF into one of the largest in the country, has died at no. the age of 82. Wow, really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, he was instrumental in bringing UCF into uh, this brand new light that they have. I mean... 100%. Let's talk about the changes. During his tenure, he awarded more than 260,000 degrees, wow. m- mine being one of them, as UCF's enrollment tripled from 21,000 to more than 66,000 up until his retirement in 2018. Uh, other milestones while president include the UCF College of Medicine at Lake Nona, on-campus football stadium, more than 100 new buildings, He also led UCF through approvals for the downtown Orlando campus established in partnership with Valencia College and opening of the new Rosen College of Hospitality Management campus at the heart of Orlando's tourism corridor. And isn't he the one that got in a little bit of beef because uh, money to build one of those buildings came from? Is that another? I think that was his successor. Got it. Okay, good. Who got who? Good. Who who kind of caught that flat? Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, He held the position for 26 years, which was the longest beloved of a a. College president, uh, uh, public college president uh, f- since the 40s wow, really? in Florida. Yeah. Ladies, do you have a pixie or a bob cut? Listen up, because 300,000 Starbucks vanilla frappuccino drinks are being recalled. <laughs> what? Yeah. You know about yeah. the frappuccino ones, listen, the, one, the one with the glass bottles? Listen up, multiple cat people. All right. The FDA warns of glass. No, what? Being found in some of the bottles. Oh, my God. The recall affects bottles with an expiration date of March 8th, March 29th, June 4th, and June 10th of this year. The FDA lists this as a Class 2, which is its website says refers to, quote, products that have a lower chance of causing major injuries or death. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, but where there is still possibility of serious enough adverse events to have uh, irreversible consequences. So, frappuccinos, God, I love those things, though. Yeah, yeah they're delicious. They make me feel like I'm more responsible. Do they, they really? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's basically a fancy milkshake, though, right? It's a, yeah, it's fancy yeah. It's fancy coffee milk, yeah, yeah, but yeah. they taste so good. Yeah. No, I I wouldn't mind the glass. I remember get my, my daughter's got one years ago, and I was like, what's a frappuccino? They're like, oh, it's a new kind of coffee thing, and I taste that. I'm like, yeah, no more of these. Yeah, I mean, come on, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean that's a clever way to sneak kids shakes is to name it something different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bucks. But look, we all know, we all know, we know what you're doing, Starbucks. We got your, we got side eye in you right now. And then shakes caught on and realized, wait, we can charge more than a buck for these right, things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, it's five dollar shakes now. Seven dollars and fifty cents yeah. for a twelve hundred calorie drink. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, malt. A dollar more? <laughs> it's just powder. <laughs> is that serious? You just sprinkle the powder. Not a malt guy. Oh, I love them. Good. I'm a malt guy. I'm not a malt guy. I think like, you, guys you like malt balls? Yeah, no, no. I don't, I don't like any. I'm not a malt guy. I, I, Whoppers? Know, I'm not a malt guy. I'm telling you, all forms of malt. Eat I'm a not, Whopper. I'm not their guy. Malt like, liquor. Oh. Which is also, I believe, is what is used in, like, White Claws. It is kind of. It's a malt liquor product. Yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he backed you into a corner. Yeah, malt liquor. I, you know what? I went through a little moment with malt liquor. I think everybody did. I mean, you know, everybody had a. <laughs> yeah. Everybody ripped a couple of Mickey's Big Mouths. Look, I ain't above it. 
<laughs> higher alcohol content. I'm looking to get a deal. And uh, a buzz. I threw this in the news because, Jack, you said that you have one of these, I believe, yesterday. What's, what's that? What's that? Or maybe it was an iPod. I don't know. I got excited when I saw this. I brought this up like months ago. Well, now we know how much it won at auction. An iPhone that was still sealed in its oh. original box. Yeah, how much? Went for more than 63 Gs. $63,000 over oh, the weekend. I thought you meant it was a 63G model. No, God, <laughs> Jesus. That's so fast. The original owner of the phone said she received it as a gift but never opened it since she had already gotten a new phone. Uh -huh. Other first-generation iPhones have been reportedly sold at auction for more than 35000 If you got an old-ass iPhone, what you doing? NIB. Retired. It, NIB is the key there. Oh, what yeah, did yeah. it go for in its heyday? The 8-gigabyte phone was originally listed for... four ninety nine. dollars uh, Jack, uh, two ninety nine. Don't have the exact number. I don't know why, but it says less than six hundred. I'm giving it to Jim. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. I think it was like four ninety nine, yeah. and you couldn't even upgrade them. Remember, you could upgrade for more space. I don't and at the could time, we that. couldn't believe it. We're like, no, people, you can't. This is this is going in a bad direction. Yeah, yeah. Now they're like fifteen hundred dollars. Right, right. I remember buying the the first one I got, or my wife got for me. I remember looking at that phone I'm like they only charge five hundred for this. Like, I was amazed. Like, I couldn't yeah. believe it was only 500 bucks, considering what it does. Finally, uh, for me, today is Fat Tuesday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Mardi Gras. It's the end of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras represents carnival festivities that start uh, on or after Epiphany on the Christian holiday observed on January 6th. And it ends the day before Ash Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Mardi Gras, French for Fat Tuesday, is also referred to as Shrove Tuesday. The holiday signifies carnival events celebrated during this time and include feasting on rich, fatty foods in preparation of the habitual fasting period of Lent, 40 Which days begins tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you fasting? Are you? Are you doing? Are you giving anything up for Lent? I have given things up the past couple years. I didn't, uh, I didn't ask you that. Though. I, I'm thinking about it. I'll. <laughs> you know, the day's early. We, yeah. uh, we let's. If we all give something up, I'm on board. Let's decide by seven and pick something for death. Do, do you? Have, oh yeah, yeah. You gave up your beard. That's not giving Thank up. Thank you, any, Ross. That's not giving up anything. I love that. So that's not giving up. It's anything. giving up something when that's the end result. No. Oh my God. No, he's got to give up something that Ouch. he likes. Ouch. Ouch. I can't even say salt because he just got into that. It wouldn't be that difficult of a separation. Mm. Anyways, you are officially toke up. That is your toke news. Toke news is brought to you by Home Loans Radio. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Four zero seven. I'm just. There's something we could all give up. And I believe it was an episode of Seinfeld. All right, we'll do that next then. Hang loose. Let's find out what we're going to give up for well, I don't think we should do it next. We'll uh, okay. talk about it, maybe. Okay, let's do it. Woke News is brought to you by Home Loans Radio with that mortgage guy, Don. It's a new year with a new feature on his website that lets him show you the broker difference. Go to that mortgageguy.com and click the compare quote button and upload your quote. They'll interpret it for you, tell you how much you're actually paying the bank or retail lender for your loan, and let you know if you can get a better deal. And if you already have a great deal, he'll tell you that too. It's peace of mind at your fingertips. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at that mortgageguy.com. What happens when we're off the air? At Real Radio 1041 on Instagram. Powered by Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey everyone, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro with a look at your Central Florida forecast on this Tuesday. It's going to be a warm one, mostly sunny. Afternoon highs in the mid-80s across the interior. Winds out of the west at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it could be breezy a little bit later this afternoon. We are going to be seeing those warm temperatures continue to rise. Afternoon highs forecast to reach 91 degrees on Thursday. Make sure you're staying hydrated and depend on the Fox 35 Storm Team. This report is sponsored by WaltDisneyWorld.jobs forward slash job fair. We are hiring. Come be a part of the magic at Walt Disney World Resort. Discover full-time and part-time roles, including custodial, food and beverage, culinary, and more. Learn about upcoming events at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs slash job fair. 
diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-777-1979. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes, are overweight, or have high blood pressure. Term Provider has helped thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance. To buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you, all you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-777-1979. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. Call 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. In the drawing room, a group of suspects gathered. The detective has solved the mystery. Ladies and gentlemen, the butler did it. <laughs> You'll never catch me. The butler darted to his getaway car. But what he didn't know is this is a Nissan sales event ad. Wait, what? And his car is no match for the detective's Nissan Rogue or its standard VC turbo engine. Save on one of your own at the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Now get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select models. Availability is limited. For well-qualified buyers, 0% APR financing for 36 months available on new 2023 Altima Rogue and Pathfinder when financed through NMAC. Must take delivery from new dealer stock. 36 months financing at $27.78 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary subject to residency restrictions and NMAC credit approval. Not all buyers qualified. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Offer ends 2 23 Not sure what's the best way to save for college? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. For more than 30 years, we've helped more than 1.2 million Florida families save for college. As the largest, most successful prepaid program in the nation, our mission is to give every parent the opportunity to save for higher education so you can give your child a life full of opportunity. Our Easy Plan Calculator can help you find the right plan for your family's budget, no matter how tight. Enroll by February 28th and get $50. Find your plan today. You know International Diamond Center is the best place to buy diamonds and fine jewelry. But did you also know IDC will buy from you? Diamonds, heirloom jewelry, estate jewelry, Swiss watches, coins. Don't be afraid to come in and get a price on something that maybe it's an heirloom that you want to sell or you're just checking to see the price. IDC owner Keith LeClaire has a vast network of collectors and buyers around the world so IDC can always find a market for your jewelry. We always pay a very strong price to buy. There's a resale market that's there and we pay top dollar for top merchandise. We have people all over the world that we sell to. So some collectors are going to pay way more than any consumer is going to pay. We'll give you the best possible price, no games played, and you'll get the check or the cash, whatever one you want. Let IDC appraise what's in your jewelry box. You might get a pleasant surprise. Sometimes they come in, they have no idea what's there, and then all of a sudden they walk out with a $28,000 check. International Diamond Center, online at shopidc.com. Daytona Supercross is more than the race that defines careers and the sound of revving engines echoing in your ears. It's more than the brutal competition on the gnarliest course that I've designed to date. It's your heart thumping from being closer to the action than you've ever been before. The atmosphere, under the lights. I'm Ricky Carmichael, and this is Daytona Supercross. Do you feel it? You will. Saturday, March 4th at the World Center of Racing. Get tickets and tracks on access at DaytonaInternationalSpeedway.com. Give me the VIN.com is America's best car bar. Paying top dollar for your car, truck, sports car, exotic. What are you waiting for? We want to buy your car right now. Find out why thousands of satisfied customers across the United States put more money in their pocket by going to give me the VIN.com. I told my buyers, let's get them bought. Right now is the time to go. Sell us your car. Give me the VIN.com. So easy you can do it in your eyes. This hour of Real Radio brought to you by FloridaJobsNow.com, coming March 1st. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis. Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. Thanks for tuning in today. We're broadcasting live right here from beautiful Maitland, Florida on this toasty Tuesday afternoon. 
me a hot one this week, guys. Did a medium blast. <laughs> that was pretty spicy this morning. Yeah, not too bad. Getting there. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Uh, Deb is out. She'll rejoin us tomorrow. Had a little, um, had to get checked out last night. Had a pretty bad headache. So uh, she's doing fine. Uh, wants everybody to know she's doing fine. Mm-hmm. She'll be back with us tomorrow for uh, Animal House with the triumphant return of Daryl and Penny from Paw Faction Dog Training. So we're looking forward to that. Absolutely. They always bring treats, too. I wonder if they're going to do that this time. <laughs> Is that why you're mentioning <laughs> it? I'm just saying. They always bring treats. You guys have to, I mean, you guys miss that, right? I mean, the I mean, treats they were. In, they brought in some pretty dope treats. Well, like clotted cream. Oh, my and God. Like, enough with that. Believe, Strawberries yeah. and clotted cream and like muffins. And it was great. Proper tea. That's right. Real tea. Oh, yeah. Poured out of porcelain that they would bring in here and make in the room just so we could have it right. I'm about it. All right, Lent's coming up tomorrow. Indeed. What are we giving up? Now, you don't have to be Catholic to adhere to this, right? You know, well... You can just kind of make a... You can make a personal statement while everyone else that's doing it. Absolutely, doing it. because, yeah, it's also... It's a form of uh, of denying yourself discipline. Uh, someone to see if you're the master of your own domain. Yeah, you know, you're, you're not denying yourself discipline. You're using no, no, discipline you're, you're to you're deny yourself, yourself a yes. pleasure. You're demonstrating discipline. Right, right, yes, right. that's what I meant to say. I'm going to give up not smoking cigars. Oh, that, okay. I, I think we should all <laughs> give up something, but it should be something of meaning to you. Oh, man. Well, I can't do the cigar thing because, you know, it's part of my job. So you were not a regular Seinfeld watcher, correct? No, I never. I mean, I, I don't. I think I've seen maybe one episode all the way through. Not Patch? a Seinfeld. Huh? I've seen a lot of Seinfeld. My but wife is an n- addict. Not in chronological order. Yeah. So there is one and it's called the master of your domain. Okay. Where they all give up masturbation. Oh, yeah, okay. And so that could be something you give up for Lent. Well, I mean, you have to do it first though, right? I'm sorry, what? You have to do that first, not correct? Not here. I mean, obviously not here. I'm just saying you have to engage in that act to oh, you're give saying, that act up. Oh, you're saying you don't? Is I that your what? is that your stance? <laughs> I don't. That's the stance you're taking? Not usually when I do it. No. <laughs> no. I'm not giving that up. Yeah, yeah. I don't, oh, I don't know come about on. That. Well, that's my cup of coffee and my NyQuil. Well, why don't you spend a little more time, uh, you know, uh, paying attention to your wife and maybe you won't miss it. Oh, my God. Coming in hot. No, I mean, that's a lot of times it's how I wake up and that's yeah. how I go to sleep. That's how you cake up. Bark, 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 bark. Wow, the old chicken noise. Let, let's That's throw bad. some money in, too. Let's each put a hundo in. Oh, people, how are we going to prove it? You got honor system. Oh, get out of here. What? I wouldn't believe either one of you. Whoa, and that's, would, can I tell you, I would, that's not her fault. And, and I would expect you not to believe me. How about that? I would believe you. Yeah, well, that's fine. I already lost. <laughs> <laughs> Just since he mentioned it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like two minutes ago? Is that what you're doing under the counter? Pretty, I'm really good at pretty it. Pretty stealth, yeah. I don't even have to touch. I just think. Um... What would be what? What would you? What would you really miss, Ross? I mean, you you don't have a. You know, we, here's the thing: you and I, Ross, we don't have a dog in this hunt, buddy. Yeah, yeah we, we don't. We got, I mean, we're not Catholics. We don't have anything. To, we're doing Jack a favor by even considering <laughs> this. Yeah, yeah. So first of all, you're welcome. How about Thanks. I, I could give up crossword puzzles. See, that's a that's a big one because I'm telling you, Sunday morning, <laughs> if I don't have my crossword puzzle and a coffee, I get kind of cranky. I feel incomplete for the week. I don't, what would thirty that's year old? That's not really a vice, though. That's something that's good for you. That's healthy for you. That yeah. helps uh, stave off dementia, which helps keep us employed. Yeah. yeah. What would thirty year old Jim think <laughs> if he heard modern day Jim say that last sentence? Well, you got to remember, I've been doing crossword puzzles for a very long time. So thirty year old Jim did as well. I've been doing a long. I've been doing them since I've been in my mid twenties. That's when I got addicted to them. Yeah. And, it, and I did a lot of them for a while. I used to print them out on, online and zoom one after the other. I just, I'm just happy that I have somebody in my life that is, that's a true statement for. Yeah, no, you're not. You're, I am. You're being facetious. Right I now. am not. I feel that you're. I want a range of friends. No, yeah, okay, good. I need the. If I don't have a crossword in my cup of coffee, yeah. I get a little cranky. Thousand bucks each, master of your domain. Let's do it. Thousand. Yeah. Put in a thousand. I think what we should do is go the opposite direction. Could, 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 can somebody help you do it? Yeah, then it's not. That's not solo. It's not. 
Right. Well, I mean, so that's not uh, masturbation anymore. If somebody assists, the act of that isn't. No. Okay, good. But I think we should go the other way. Which is? We try to do it as much as we possibly can. But like, fill, fill a jug? God, my, can we, can we not, can we not? I thought I was a can taking, yeah. we not? Yeah. Yeah, Ross. Can we not? He said $1,000. Okay, I, look, I'm not spending $1,000 on a bet of that nature. But a dollar each one. Yeah, no, no, because you're not trying. How long no. is Lent? A month? It's a month, dude. 40 days, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it goes to Easter. 40 days. 40 days. 40 days. A thousand times. No, Ross. No. You give up golf. We would look like we would watch the ring I, video. I can't get up. <laughs> I can't give up golf. I can't do that. Same. It's my life. Part of it, anyway. That's a what very I need. Important. It's, it's just like people don't understand this about us. It's not a hobby. Yeah, no, it's not a hobby. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a part of my breath. I can't think of anything, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that was tough. Really put a lot of thought into uh, it. Fried, fried food. I don't eat fried food now. Uh, soda. I don't drink soda. I'm, well, here's the thing. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be difficult for me to give soda up because I literally only have one or two a weekend. That's it. Hey, that counts. I mean, I look. I I would do the soda thing for sure. I'm crystal like crazy right now, so I would I could easily do the soda thing. I could drink sweet tea or semi sweet tea and just be fine. So I'm telling you, the soda thing wouldn't be that big of a challenge. Like beer, beer would be a big challenge. Video games for me would be a tough challenge. It's just such a, it's how I nightcap my thing, day. And the thing is, is we would be able to know because you would have to have logged in, right? So you, we would know if you logged in or not. Yeah, but you, you're going to need a switch for that. No, 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 I'm just saying we're on our system. We could go to your gaming system and you could turn it on and prove to us that you haven't turned it on from today on. Because if it didn't say the last time you used it was today, we would know that you cheated. I'm sure that information is somewhere on the console. Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, sure it is. Here's a good one. I kind of like this texture just came in. Swearing. Oh, man. That's a good one. Jim wow. can't do that. Wow. There's no way Jim could do that. I don't I know. know, man. That would be a good one. That would be so difficult. Because I just naturally swear. Yeah, you do. I just, it's just part of my. It was one of your first words. Yeah. F was one of my first words. Like, what the <laughs> F am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the right Uber. Oh, no. Man, that's a good one. Well, you guys are definitely too weak to give up masturbation. So what about swearing? Jack, this is not a difficult thing for you. And then Ross has stage work to do. He does stand up. He swears in his act. Could you do it completely clean for a month? Oh, yeah. Could you go to the, you could go tonight show for a month? You've I mean you've got a clean set. Yeah, yeah. I get. I can well, your do... set's not riddled with curse words as it. No, it's just a yeah, for enhancement. My, my cursing is a reflection of who's in the right, room and right. the vibe. We're gonna hear from Kathy Paget today too, right? Yeah. Do you does does your mother know you curse? Like, yeah, which, yeah, which, yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. dude. Some people don't curse around their parents. My I, mom, we're gonna I, tell her. I, I didn't look. I didn't curse around my mom until I was in my forties. Really? Yeah. I mean, and, and even yeah. then, I, and even then, I would get smacked by my wife for doing it. Same. Yeah, I I've been cursing in front of my mom for how long? Not as a teenager, but I don't say that. Don't say you put her through that. I don't even remember if okay. I was doing it back then. Probably though. That's when you were juvenile. More than yeah, more totally, than likely, though. Totally. I don't know, man. Me, me and my mom are straight up homies. Could you do the no cursing thing? I could do it. Let's try it. No cursing. For 40 days. And, for 40 days. And Deb has to do it, too. No way. No oh, way. God, I don't know, man. All right. I, look, I'll, I'll lobby her into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let, let's see. If, if, if Deb says chugga chugga. Yeah. Then she is saying yes. Deb? Chugga chugga. Oh. oh. Now, can we use the first letter of the word to say the word? Oh. Like instead of saying what the blank, you say what the F. Can I say that? Is that. Is that, that, that we, we definitely need to work that out. Yeah, because I mean, that's to me, that gives me almost the same pleasure. Yeah. This is working out for me because I, I'm, I just kind of fell in love with what the heck. Oh, really? I'm a, I'm a I, what the heck guy. I, I, I would lobby that what the heck is okay, what the F is not. F is not 
because so, it's, it's use... become synonymous yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God. We're going to put up money? Yeah, but again, I mean. What? You, but again, how are we you going? Ha- do you have honor? I have <laughs> as much as do you, you have as, honor. As much as you need, buddy. I then got let's as, do as, it. as much as you need. Then let's do it. Jack's going to win. No. But, I don't know that. No, and, because and, 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 I, and, I casually and, curse. And at any I given moment, curse. we can call each other's wives to verify whether or not they have. At Agreed. any given moment, Agreed. we can text and say, hey, has your husband cursed in the house? And they have to tell the truth. How much? You just like lunch? Yeah, yeah, like a tuna melt. No, I mean, like whoever loses pays for the other two lunch and then breaks the thing. So yeah. that's it's the first person to curse. I'm ordering and, a tuna melt. Does that end it for everybody else? If you curse, does that end it? or do they, as No, now, the second person now has to cover tip. I'm going to get it. Or like how that. about this? The last one standing gets the other's money. Like when you curse, you're out. Your money goes into the pot. Now it's between Ross and I. And you can continue continue on, but then if I curse, Ross gets all the cash, just like a knockout poker tournament. Hey. Yeah, but as, so as how much as, money? As long as the end result is me and a tuna melt on twenty five bucks, is that is that not enough? I that's good for me because it should be. A, I don't want you to be tempted to lie, Ross. Yeah, yeah, twenty five dollars. That means it's a hundred bucks in the pot. Deb's in. We just spent twenty five dollars of Deb's money. That's just going to go over quite well. She's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, no cursing. Hell count. No, hell counts, yes. All right. Hell counts as a curse word? Oh, Ross, what's right. the matter? It's, it's between me and you now, Jack. <laughs> that's not how this <laughs> works. 407-916-1041, what'd you do that's new is next? Ross is out. What the heck? Real Radio 104.1 is 30 years old. Guess it's time to move out of our parents' guest house. Garage. Thanks for keeping the dream alive over three decades. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com We're stop and go eastbound on I-4 between U.S. Highway 27 and Polk County up to 429. And then again between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Westbound is also slow between the Beach Line and State Road 535. And also between World Drive and Osceola Polk Line Road. Watch for delays from a crash on Orange Avenue coming in at Michigan Street. The 408 up to speed. See traffic problems? Make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members. Bring your community the fastest, most reliable fiber internet while saving up to 50%. With Blue Stream Fiber, your community gains a partner, not just another provider. Start the partnership at bluestreamfiber.com slash radio today. Hey guys, Jim here for my friends over at Solar Bear. Last year, right here in Orlando, three different utility rate increases, and they're thinking about another, but... You can stop going along with those rate increases because now is the time to go solar with Solar Bear, the number one solar installer in the state of Florida. These guys can help eliminate your power bill in 2023. Solar Bear, also the highest rated and reviewed solar company in the state, plus they're locally owned and operated. That means no subcontractors. And it's easy. All you have to do, just visit solarbear.com today. Find out what they can do for you. Get that free estimate and check it out right now. Zero down, 0% interest, and no payments for 12 months with credit approval. Say goodbye to your electric bill, but say hi to Solar Bear, solarbear.com. Real Radio 104.1 presents the Okoe Music Festival March 10th and 11th at Bill Breeze Park, brought to you by E-Pass. It's a free weekend celebration featuring live performances from Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, Night Ranger, and the Mavericks on Friday, and Chris Jansen and Nico Moon on Saturday, plus many more. And did we mention it's absolutely free? Get more info now at realradio.fm slash events. This is Monster Jam! Get ready for massive stunts, all-out racing, and crazy skills. Let's hear it! Make some noise! Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Brought to you by BKT Tires and Morgan & Morgan. Visit MorganMonsterJam.com for your $20 ticket from Morgan & Morgan. Visit website for restrictions and details. Coming to Camping World Stadium March 4th. I want to remind you about something that you wouldn't think could happen but it can and it's people can steal your home my friend had his home stolen 
The crime is home title theft. It's real. It's horrendous, but it's real, and it's everywhere. Now, luckily, this was just a demo, but I saw how criminals all around the world target American homeowners, and that's why I protect my home with home title lock, and you need to as well. And a thief can simply forge your signature on a legal document claiming you sold your home to them. Homeowners insurance and common identity theft programs do not protect you but Home Title Lock does. They want to give you an absolutely free, no obligation, uh, verification that your home is still in your name. You register for 30 days of protection for free. Just go to HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Sean, an absolutely free, no obligation. That's HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Sean. Unexpected expenses don't exactly come with an installment plan. What if they could? An Amscot installment cash advance from $100 to $1,000 could mean more money and more time to pay it back. Amscot, some restrictions apply, subject to approval. I'm Martin Hoke, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Tara, quote, My doctor wanted me to do saline rinses for my allergies, but I've never been able to successfully use a neti pot. Navage uses suction power, so it's foolproof. There are nights when I'll have particularly bothersome allergies. I'll bust it out, and the results are immediate. It's such a relief. It's become a lifesaver, unquote. She's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navaj, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navaj is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. I love going on double dates to McDonald's. And by double, I mean twice a day. And by dates... I mean quality time with my choice of a savory sausage biscuit or sausage McMuffin paired with hash browns for $2.79 in the morning. Then sneak away for either a delicious McDouble or McChicken with small fries on the side for $3.69 later in the day. Who needs romance when there's McDonald's? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid when product served. No matter what I get, it's 20% off every day when I spend a dollar on the McDonald's app. So yesterday was my please the whole fam on the way to the game meal. Today is my finally get them to stop asking are we there yet meal. Who knows what tomorrow will be. Maybe a delicious crispy chicken sandwich all for myself meal. Whatever it is, it's a win. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid through December 31st, 2023 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Excludes tax. McD app download and registration required. This hour of Real Radio brought to you by FloridaJobsNow.com. Coming March 1st. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. You're listening to WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Available everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasts. Casting. We are an iHeart Radio station. So apparently, Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. Welcome back to the Jim Porter Show, Real Radio 104.1. 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. Let's do what you do that's new. What you do that's new? What you do that's new? Hey, you're the only new something new to do. We're relying on you. Tell us something new about to you by Clausman Law. Thanks, Clausman Law. K L A U S M A N Law dot com. Offices Winter Park four zero seven nine one seven seventeen eighteen. Car crash. Call Clausman. We'll talk to him on Thursday for Colbert Court. What you do that's new? Been going on now for about four or five years since we started the show. Every Tuesday at four o'clock, one member of the show will choose something for the other members to watch, read, or listen to. Then we'll return that following Tuesday, discuss that, and then the next member moves forward. This is my choice today. Uh, we'll get Deb's choice here in just a few minutes. Does she text that to anybody, by the way? Yes, I have it. Okay, good. Um, so we'll do that. Um, my choice today was um, an episode of WTF, which is exactly what it sounds like, uh, from Mark Marin, who is a stand-up comedy 
guy. He's an actor, but he's who, been in the comedy game since the 80s. Uh, who just dropped an HBO special yeah, that yeah. I watched last night. Good? Great. Really? Oh, yeah. that's so good to hear. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that. Yeah, it, I mean, it is dark. Go into it knowing you're about to get some dark comedy. Yeah. But my God, is it great. It's kind of a modern-day Belzer who just passed as well. Kind of a neurotic, you know, uh, you know, self-involved, uh, like kind of... Yeah, in his most recent podcast, as a matter of fact, he talks about Belzer and the influence he had on him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you can tell because he's very, you know, very similar to that. I mean, it, you know, there's not a lot of joy uh, in Mark Maron's life, as you can see. He fights through a lot of things, but he's a very interesting guy, and he's a great interview. And it just so happens the interview I chose from him was from Orlando's own Wayne Brady. Um, and everybody knows Wayne Brady from Whose Life Then Is It Anyway, and he's hosted a number of things. I think he actually hosts Let's Make a Deal right now. I believe yes. so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, you know, he's he's done quite well for himself uh, over the years. Uh, Whose Line was a gigantic show, still is. I think they still tour with that show occasionally. Um, and the reason why it was such an interesting interview is Wayne Brady was one of the first people, along with, like, Alfonso Ribera, uh, Ribeiro and those guys who are from Fresh Prince, Carlton, mm-hmm. that got that moniker of not being black enough. Like they were like uh, Uncle Tom sellouts, as they heard that a lot, right? Um, they were black, no question, but they didn't, but they quote unquote from their own community acted white, you know, or, uh, you know, you know that the old argument you get from, uh, you know, with, with those, uh, with, with that particular audience. Um, and he talks at great length about it. And I, I mean, I don't know about you guys. I, I mean, I found it fascinating, vulnerable, open. I mean, it was, it was, you know, he didn't pull any punches whatsoever. He seems to have come to grips with his career and where he is and his legacy. And I found it quite interesting. I hope you guys did as well. What'd you think? Uh, absolutely. I was uh, looking forward to that as soon as it dropped, being able to listen to it. And, um, it was interesting because I knew of the connection to Orlando, so you know you're waiting for that to come up in conversation. And Mark Marin talked about his connection to Orlando. Yeah, and I thought Mark Marin kind of made a, a a kind of a self aware comment about something he did in the past when Mark Marin uh, last uh, performed here was at the Hard Rock. Then he made some comments about you know Orlando theme park town you know on his way out and it was like it it felt unfair because people they come they they go to a theme park and then they leave they don't experience anything orlando and then they kind of run it down because of it's a theme park and he got a handle matter of fact i think after tweeting that one of the first tweets was did you ever leave the resort right and that was an automatic showstopper right there you can't argue outside of that you're done so he actually kind of uh, fessed up to that he said you know uh, he said uh, hard rock but he goes but i didn't see much more than that right but then when brady came in over the top he said yeah but you don't need to like then so verifying what he thought from the onset which i thought was crappy for the next 15 minutes in my head i'm like thinking about what i'm about to tweet at wayne brady talking about um it would be nice if you gave orlando the same respect that you crave from your peers yeah yeah, you know but then when he got back to it he then gave yeah. Orlando respect. Yeah, yeah. I thought. Yeah. yeah. So he, he he took a moment to make the joke, but then later on, he I think he showed respect for where he came from. I thought I thought he was also painfully honest about Orlando as yeah. in, in its position in the world of entertainment. You know, theoretically, because this is the number one vacation destination in the world, that you would think with all the theme parks and stuff that you know there would be a lot of opportunity here for entertainers. Well, at some level, there is. You know, I mean, you know, theme park entertainment is a viable job. It's a legit thing. Ross has done it for sure. Ross's wife has had experience with it as well. Hundreds of Central Floridians, thousands actually, have worked at the theme parks and either been a character or acted in one of the shows or whatever. What he did say, however, though, if you wanted to make it to the next next level, you're not going to be able to do that here. You're going to have to leave Orlando to make the next level. Which makes sense, but I really like that he gave a shout-out to SAC Comedy Lab. He did. And he talked about how... That really put that, him on the path to improv. Absolutely. And, you know, that's our own sack yeah, comedy. That's, that's absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and he talks uh, very highly about it. This is one of the most honest. No, I'll I'll go out on the plank and say this is the most honest interview on a podcast or any other form of media I think I've ever absorbed. I think that this is amazing. This was an amazing conversation. A, I w- a true insight. I was blown away. I there were, I was I sat in my driveway for 20 minutes to finish the episode. Yeah. I think that this is a 
must listen if you are any bit of an entertainer in Central Florida. Yeah, and I, I think it's a must li- a must listen if you if you like that show and you liked him. And of course, he talks about the the big sketch that kind of brought him out of that. You know, he, he teamed up with Dave Chappelle to do that whole Wayne Brady bit. You know, Wayne Brady will kill a bee. Well, it was after they kind of ran him down. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. because he came back at him and said, "What's yeah. up?" And then you know they make that. And of course. And, I, you know, outside of that, he talked about making that. I, I don't remember what he said about how he was received after that fact. Like, if it got any better. Or... He said it did help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah, he I, did. I couldn't remember that if he did or not. I, uh, I, There are parts of this interview that really screamed to me about my brother. There's a lot of similarities between uh, what he went through, especially with having a an interesting childhood to say the least. Right. Yeah. Uh, but at the very end when he's talking about Coda and not, I, when I first heard, heard him say Coda, I thought like deaf people were talking what? Right. Yeah. Uh, but he was talking about the codependency of an audience. Right. Yeah. yeah. And needing an audience. I, I, I thought the interview was so good. I, I told my brother, I said, you have to listen to this. You're going to love this. He listened to it. And then to my surprise, then proceeded to text Wayne Brady. Yeah. Saying, hey, loved the interview. Did Wayne respond, by the way? I have no idea. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see if he did. But they've worked with each other, you yeah. know, throughout the country just doing, uh, my brother plays like a small role in his, and Wayne Brady's improv shows in, in a handful of arenas. He's done it multiple times. Painfully talented guy. One of uh, the most. And when you, can you hear the therapy? I mean, when you hear, yeah, yes, when, when you yes, hear him talk, yes. you, can, you can hear the therapy because yeah. he obviously has used therapeutic tools to work through a lot of this um, uh, trauma that he had as a kid, his career going the way it went, where he was, what he is. He's very comfortable with where he is now. That's a big therapy you yeah. know, tagline type thing is, you know, understanding and respecting where you are in position in life. He seems to have gotten through that. He seems to be very happy, actually. Yeah. Very matter of fact, though. No, I've I've always been a fan of Wayne Brady. I really appreciate him on whose line is it anyway. Just uh, the Gen- unbelievable talent, genius, unbelievable talent for that. Great dancer, great singer yeah. as well. I mean, and, the guy was a talented singer, and always liked him, and, and was glad when he came back to do this Chappelle show because I thought it was kind of him taking it over the top. It, it's, he gets right, to yeah. take control of that narrative at that point. Yeah, yeah, that's a, and it was like the training day thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, uh, so yeah, yeah I, so I was a big fan, and it, as Ross said, it, it, it was a great conversation, which I, I think you get a lot with Marin's podcast. By the way, when you identified the name of Marin's podcast, you did curse, and you are now out no, as well. I'm, not, I'm, not I'm the last man standing. Prop, proper name. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, uh, you know, I listened to it today with Michelle Yo. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of, because he, he seems to get a lot more real conversations out of people as opposed to just the yeah. tonight show right yeah what are you promoting that's the one thing about smart list that if you you know if you want the shallow entertainment stuff you can yeah. get in there and get it you'll get yeah. an occasional like serious tip there a couple yeah. of them have gone there but if you want to get like you know Mark Marin can do an entire interview and not talk about their career yes uh, can talk about their childhood their upbringing their friends their yeah. I mean not talk about careers at all not plug anything that's why I love it he does not follow any rules and uh and he's and, and he doesn't really Hold back. He'll ask tough questions, you know, about uh, racial stuff, about you yeah. know, how, how they feel politically. I mean, he'll he'll talk about it all. I mean, well, you you know, you're nailing the interview when the person that you're interviewing stops, looks at you, and goes, oh, "That's right on the money, right there." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's good. He, he does that a lot too. <laughs> That's what anyway. Wayne Brady said right, to yeah. Mark, you know, yeah. halfway through that episode. And if you like this episode, you know, follow that channel and listen to it. I mean, if you go back in the history of the show, there are so many unbelievably great interviews that he does. Yeah. Um, because he's not self-indulgent in the least. Yeah. Um, he parallels his career with other people's careers and then lets them talk about it, which is yeah. brilliant. So, And when yeah. he is petty, he owns up to it. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah. yeah, he owns up to it. He's pretty self-aware, which and, is neat. And, I enjoy that. And actually, because of that, other, you know, people like guests will call him out about it. And, you know, he's known a lot of these people he's interviewed for a very long time. Uh, but it is, again, very interesting. Uh, WTF um, featuring Wayne Brady. We'll have the link up on JimCorporateLive.com. It's there, and it's available on the iHeartRadio app. And uh, I, I think Deb kind of went to extreme measures to avoid having to review it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go back in a second and find out what Deb has for us, and we'll move on with the program. That's coming up right after this. 
Proudly sponsored since day one by Glenn Klausman. Klausmanlaw.com. We're stop and go eastbound on I-4 between U.S. Highway 27 and Polk County up to 429 and then again between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Westbound is also slow between the Beach Line and State Road 535 and also between World Drive and Osceola Polk Line Road. Watch for delays from a crash on Orange Avenue coming in at Michigan Street. The 408 up to speed. See traffic problems? Make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Blindster.com. Do you need new blinds or shades? Blindster.com offers custom-made blind shades and shutters with free shipping and prices less than big box retailers. And right now, save 50% off any order during Blindster's President's Day sale. Hurry, sale ends February 23rd. Blindster.com. This hour of Real Radio brought to you by FloridaJobsNow.com. Coming March 1st. Well, hello there. I am the Guitar Hotel. I have over 3,000 of the newest slot machines and nearly 200 table games with real cards and real dealers. Come experience my incredible lineup of restaurants, bars, and of course, Hard Rock Live. Or spend a day soaking up the sun in my 18 acres of poolside paradise. I can't wait to meet you. Visit hardrockholly.com to find out more. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. I'm Martin Hoke, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Josh, quote, after walking around my whole life being a mouth breather, I was excited to try Navage. I read the directions carefully, pressed the button, and oh my gosh, what a sensation. So much mucus, so much crud, but oh sweet, merciful air, I can finally breathe you through my nose. Never have I ever taken such an amazing breath in my life. This is a life changer, unquote. He's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navage is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. In the drawing room, a group of suspects gathered. The detective has solved the mystery. Ladies and gentlemen, the butler did it. <laughs> You'll never catch me. The butler darted to his getaway car. But what he didn't know is this is a Nissan sales event ad. Wait, what? And his car is no match for the detective's Nissan Rogue or its standard VC turbo engine. Save on one of your own at the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Now get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select models. Availability is limited. For well-qualified buyers, 0% APR financing for 36 months available on new 2023 Altima Rogue and Pathfinder when financed through NMAC. Must take delivery from new dealer stock. 36 months financing at $27.78 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary subject to residency restrictions and NMAC credit approval. Not all buyers qualified. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Offer ends 2 23 I want to remind you about something that you wouldn't think could happen, but it can, and it's people can steal your home. My friend had his home stolen. The crime is home title theft. It's real. It's horrendous, but it's real, and it's everywhere. Now, luckily, this was just a demo, but I saw how criminals all around the world target American homeowners, and that's why I protect my home with home title lock, and you need to as well. And a thief can simply forge your signature on a legal document claiming you sold your home to them. Homeowners insurance and common identity theft programs do not protect you but Home Title Lock does. They want to give you an absolutely free, no obligation uh, verification that your home is still in your name. You register for 30 days of protection for free. Just go to HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Sean, an absolutely free, no obligation. That's HomeTitleLock.com, promo code Sean. Were you hurt in a vehicle and want compensation? When you're injured on the go, just call the Did an accident leave you in need of representation? When you're injured on the go, just call the When you're injured on the go, just call the
Mo DeWitt, Orlando Attorney, sung by a non-attorney spokesperson. On the podcast, The Last Soviet, Lance Bass from NSYNC shares his own experiences of astronaut training in Russia. Yes, that's true. And tells the story of the final cosmonaut, a man trapped in space while his nation crumbled to the ground. His name is Sergei Krikalev. He's a Soviet cosmonaut, and he's manning the world's only space station, the pride and joy of the USSR. Listen to The Last Soviet on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Join Universal Orlando's hiring party this Saturday, February 25th. Learn about career opportunities, benefits, and the fun perks available to all team members. Enjoy refreshments, full and part-time offers on the spot. Learn more and register at UniversalOrlandoJobs.com. Our iHeartRadio podcast awards are back. It's the biggest night of the year for podcast fans. Get ready to celebrate your favorites. Head to iHeart.com slash podcast awards to check out the nominees for podcast of the year best comedy crime news sports and more tuesday march 14th join us for our 2023 iHeartRadio podcast awards Thank you. audible is a proud sponsor of the audible audio pioneer award from groundbreaking originals to best-selling audiobooks and the best and latest in podcasts you'll find your next obsession at audible the home of storytelling try audible free sign up at audible.com best price the first time orange buick gmc.com we are professional grade <laughs> Obviously, this is why YouTube was created. Obviously. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. What's up, boys? So, um, Lent is supposed to be a 40-day-long event, right? So, if you guys are playing Knockout, um, it's going to be over in about six hours. So that's going to be boring. So, it needs to be for 40 days, every time you curse, 50 cents in a jar. A jar that's in the studio. And at the end of it, 40 days, whoever swore the least amount of times gets the jar. I just throw a hundo in there in the beginning and let it rip. I am the sun and the air. This song will always have a funny piece of history to me in my life. Oh, do explain. Uh, 407-916-1041. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show here on Real Radio. I am Jim. Jack is right there. Smiths, how soon is now? That's right. Ross is here. Yeah. Uh, Deb back with us tomorrow, taking the day off to recover from uh, that headache she had yesterday. It was a nasty one. So hopefully she'll be back with us tomorrow. I think she will. Two days off for being sick is not Deb's makeup. Speaking of Deb, what did she see, uh, What did she uh, suggest for what you do that's new? It was... Sh- I'm glad because it's a show that I was interested in watching, but I kept putting off, putting off, putting off. And it's season one, episode one of The Morning Show Oh wow! on Apple TV+. Plus. Okay, that's Christina Applegate? No. No, who is that? That is uh, Steve Carell is in it, but it's also Jennifer Aniston and Reese oh, Witherspoon. Right. That's the one. Okay, yeah, yeah. And Billy Crudup. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Or Crudup. I've heard it's good. Heard it's good. I've heard it's good. I have never a, watched it yet. I have a feeling that we're all not too excited. Well, That's you the know, vibe the, that I'm picking well, up. Well, Jim realizes he doesn't have Apple TV Plus, and he's going to have to go to well, Amazon Prime to get it. Funny, funny enough. <laughs> So my wife tasked me with canceling. By the way, that's a great suggestion. No problem watching that. Looking forward to it. Good job, Deb. We'll go over that next week. And it's on the list at jimcolbertlive.com. Very good. Um, what was I just saying? Uh, about the, the to, subscription. Oh, Your yeah, wife yeah. gave you that task. So I have to task the, like 13 of these things off my uh, account. Oof. And I'm having a difficult time. I, was, I, was, I could cancel Skype, but a lot of these ones that I buy through... <laughs> What are you laughing at? Skype was the only game in town before the pandemic, buddy. No, I just, just funny that you, A, it's a struggle, and B, Skype is yeah, yeah, comically the only one yeah, that you nailed. Right, exactly right. <laughs> so Skype was the easy one to get to because the others are through Apple.com, like through Apple. So it's like, so it's your like, Apple ID. So it's like, yeah, Apple ID and stuff like that. But when you get in, um, I'm not a hundred on how to cancel everything yet, <laughs> what but I, I, I don't know, man. I just can't, I can't. And I tried to cancel my Disney plus, but it's through a bundle with Hulu, but I can't figure out if I cancel the Disney plus part of that. If I cancel Hulu as well, which is how we get our normal television. I'm a, I'm in a bit of a conundrum. Boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a conundrum, boys. 
I, I you know, Ooh. here's the thing. I watch TV. I don't program it. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to get in there. All I know is free trial lasts forever. I can watch TV for seven ninety nine. But I do have about of these Apple Pay. Like I have extra cloud space that I ordered twice. <laughs> That's two ninety nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, that, one. that one's two ninety nine. Uh huh. I've got that. That one's on there twice. Then I have a couple others, like one for six ninety nine, one for five ninety nine, and they're all through Apple dot com. So I guess just need to get my Apple ID and get in there and cancel them up. I told my wife, now listen, let me ask you a quick question. So I said, just go to Wells Fargo and stop paying them. Then they'll cancel. They'll cancel your subscription. It's not like you're. Yeah, it's not a credit thing. You're not gonna. Be, you know, you, it, they're not gonna ding you for that. You, it's just a month to month thing. It's not like you've agreed to pay them over six years or anything. Just go in there and cancel the payment. Then when you when they get no payment, they'll cancel the subscription. And she's like, "No, you can't do it that way." Like I don't this, know if that's true or not either. I mean, I feel like I could tell you how to fix this or at least see all your subscriptions right now. We'll do it during the break. Yeah, I got you on the break. <laughs> okay. I, I don't think that makes great radio. Yeah, but, no, it's not going to, but I do need help on but that. But your struggles with technology, <laughs> yeah, they're real. Yeah, they, yeah. they're they real. Well, I mean, even canceling stuff is... Yeah, dude, I, I just... Here's the thing. Well, they I, don't make it easy, would you, would you, to be yeah, fair. You're right. And let me... let me. Can I explain this entire thing with me, with this? Because this will make it easier for you guys to consume. I'm a dummy. I, <laughs> I naturally do not have an inclination for this stuff. But what I do have an inclination for is destroying things without any meaning on my part to do so. I am I I have a knack for pushing the wrong button or hitting the wrong thing or doing the wrong making the wrong choice in situations like this. The last thing I want to do is do anything that renders this computer incapable of being able to program the show, which is how I feed my family. So in my world, I don't care about the two ninety nine or three ninety nine because anything I do that stops this from working makes my life way more difficult than two ninety nine a month will ever make my life. That's exactly how I look at this. So I don't really give a blank about any of that stuff. That does not count because <laughs> blank is not a curse word. I'm glad we're working out uh, all yeah. the rules and kinks today. So, so I, I I am just terrified of these things. I don't know. You know, I, I'm terrified of pushing the wrong button and doing something I'm not supposed to do and shutting the computer down. That's what, that's the tr part of it is fear. I'm going to be honest with you. Is that fine? No. Why? Why isn't it? Because you're living a, a life of fear. Oh, it's not a life of fear. It's just a stupid computer. I don't have fear anywhere else in my life. Yeah. My wife. Well, we, I, <laughs> sorry on that one. A little weird. Okay, so let's see where this path of fear uh, has led you. Okay. How many subscriptions and how much money were you paying a month of things that you were not using? Why would you ask me something like that? Because I know it's a pretty obscene number. Because your wife told me. Yeah. When did you talk to her? This morning. Everybody dies. <laughs> One. Hold on. Two, four, six, Everybody eight, ten. Everybody dies. Um, Eleven. 11 subscriptions that were lingering, totaling how much? Hold on. The one I, I nailed Skype. Hold on. We went over that. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> also, that's got to be the lowest monthly payment that you have. No. Uh, Disney Plus is twelve forty four a month. Oh, that's the bundle. That's so the bundle. That's Hulu and ESPN Plus. Right, which I have and I need. Well, then you're not canceling <laughs> yeah. it. Arthur, okay, Apple three ninety nine on a card. Don't know what that's for. No, what, what, no idea. Apple what? It just says, hold on. Uh, just <laughs> apple.com bill. It three, could, it could be a movie rental. No, these are recurring. Okay. <laughs> Two ninety nine. That did I know that one because that, that one, that's the storage space. No, that's Skype. Got rid of that one. Two ninety nine. Yeah, I would say the three ninety nine is probably your iCloud storage. Another Skype one. Yeah. iCloud storage got the Skype was $20 a month, by the way, that I've been paying for two years. Um, oh my God. This is Hulu. Now, it's weird. I'm paying for Hulu, but I already have Hulu as a bundle, right? Oh, God. Oh, so I, I, got, I, have some, I have double Hulu. You guys don't. <laughs> I think you. you I have would, double Hulu. You might have Hulu Hulu. Uh-huh. Here's another recurring payment for Apple for two ninety nine. I'm telling you, man, I must have all the cloud space. Yeah, yeah. Does well, anybody else want some cloud space? I've got it all. <laughs> do you? I've got something to sub. I can sub out some cloud space for you if you want. How much do you understand the cloud? I mean, I just know that's where stuff goes until I want it back. I understand that because I get my Apple monthly email, and then you get a second one, and it's like, wait, 
One of them's for storage. What's the right. other one for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, Here's yeah. another recurring payment to Apple for seven seventy four that I have no idea where that's going. <laughs> no clue what that's about. See, because I, I mean, be- you've been telling me, people right now are listening to this. They're going, wow, man, I should do this because I probably have as many of these. And my wife just found them on the bank account and sent every one of them and said, what is all this? Uh-huh. Seven, another seven seventy four a month for Apple. You might have Apple Care, which is their service to, you know, Fix your phone when you break it. Here's nine ninety nine for C- Google CBS Mobile. What is that? Uh, w- did you get like the uh, the NFL Sunday ticket or something? I don't think so. See, I think with some of your Apple charges, if you're buying them through the app, yeah, you have to. You're see- making purchases through the app, <laughs> then it's showing up as Apple, but it might be for something else that you bought. You have the CBS All Access app. Oh wow! Yeah, I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Here's one. I found a big one here, guys. Let's hear it. This one's... <laughs> um, I don't know why we're... I, go, Daddy. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a $20.36, uh, $20.36 recurring payment for Go, Daddy. A month? Yeah. That's surprising. No, no, that's for... that's. I think that was for Primetime Kitchen. Yeah. The, to the host web, the website. To host the website. Yeah, yeah right. I think that's what that's for. So you, you, you can lose that. Yeah, but I can knock that out. The one... If you're paying Go, Daddy for... Um, well, I don't know if we should say this because if you forget, then someone else can jump in and grab it. But JimCobertLive.com, that's one you want to make sure you continue to pay. But that should be like 15 bucks a year. Yeah, no, no. I have, that's $20 the, a month yeah, or something. Doma- domains are you by the year, and it's less than $20. God, here's another one for Apple for $10 a month. I got to figure out what this stuff is, man. I mean, it comes out to be like a, it's like $120 a month or something. Let Ross and I do it, and you give yeah. us yeah, no way. 60 bucks a month. No way, buddy. And... Come on, we're gonna save you sixty bucks a month. Yeah, so yeah we we see this as a business opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, I bet you do. Single Ross, you have a lot of subscriptions for stuff that you. Have, I don't even know if you have access to. Well, that's the other thing. He's got to figure out these keywords or these passwords because I don't know. I mean, I guess just with the Apple ID is the one, right? I, th- I think I got that one. Oh God. But then uh, the GoDaddy one, I got to figure out what that's for. And uh, <laughs> look, my wife doesn't task me with many things. She just asked me to take care of this. I'm killing myself to get it done. Are you, though? I, well, I, You're Jack, thinking kinda, about it. I am. But what then, actions have you taken? Well, I, I told you. I got Skype done, and then I got into those Apple things. I'm like, this seems like a bit much. Yeah, I'm then not, he, he broke out in hives and quit. <laughs> yeah, I just I was like, well, I'll just talk to the boys about it today. Maybe we'll figure <laughs> it out then. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was my my entire. Tell plan. me, this is a line item on your topic t- for today. No, I didn't, so write, I the, didn't write it down. I don't want evidence of it. The um, <laughs> the at, with what I found is sometimes with these things, if you log in on a, a computer on your laptop, it's a different user experience than on your phone, yeah. and sometimes a little more robust, and sometimes a little easier to understand when you're trying to navigate to find that little cancel button right right so i went to the cancel the disney plus thing it says no and it says well i went to you know i just how do you cancel your disney plus you, you know go, called that don't yes i've done it before too don't listen to him you're not wrong yes here. i used the tool google yeah. to figure yeah. out a problem that i did not know the answer to bravo good answer take that ross that's what americans do i just think that maybe going to the website no, no, no. I mean, once I found out, I was like, it says, okay, how do I cancel Disney Plus? It says, go to Disney Plus website. But then I did that, right? And then it gave me a link. I went there and it says, you know, locate your user or whatever. And there's none of that information's there. Then I click on to one of the, and then you keep scrolling down. It says, if you're part of a bundle, do this. Then that's when you have to go into the Hulu thing, I guess, and select it because, you know, if I cancel that and Hulu's part of that, we won't have television. Yeah, and then you can just reorder it. Well, I already have it twice, so I, I'm just going to cancel the one with the bundle. You know, because we don't use Disney Plus well, or any of that other stuff. We you need to make Hulu. sure you have the password of the one you're keeping yeah, yeah. so you'll be able to access it on your devices. I use Hulu for television. Then we have HBO Max. We have Amazon Prime and Netflix. Those are our primary um, apps that well, we use. Now you need Apple TV Plus for this week's What'd You Do That's New. I, also, I think I already have that as part of that bundle. I'll just cancel it after uh, I do it's this. It's not part uh, of the bundle. And it's just not. to clarify... I, I need to know this. What what programs do you use to pull the show? I, I just use uh, just my browser that I just go to different websites to you know to read news and then you know, put it on my uh, sheet. And we have a little bit of fear in canceling the subscriptions because you think 
I just don't know what to hit when I get in there. I'm just like, it just says a bunch of weird things. Like Jack said, it's built not to cancel. So I get in there and I'm like, I don't know, man. I just don't want to mess my computer up and, and click on something and buy something else. Or, you know, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just that guy who was like, oh, God, guys, try to cancel Hulu, buys 100 pizzas. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm that so, guy. I'm just telling like, you, I'm that like guy. Like today, I use Google because what I wanted to do, we have on the Real Radio Instagram feed we're giving away tickets to see the juds right okay, yeah. the, their farewell tour is it the jud then? why not well it's still called the juds okay the farewell tour and uh with special guests with winona and special guests and tickets are available at real radio 1041 on instagram i wanted to share that as a story okay but i wasn't sure how to grab a uh something on your feed and share it as a story so i googled it and i did it in yeah, yeah. like less than a minute see that ross Google's your friend, buddy. Google is your friend. I mean, I'm usually Googling different things. Like what? I don't know. I, I think the last thing I Googled was like death count of World War II. Yeah, yeah. See, I knew that. Well, it's a highly debated number. Yeah, yeah I know it is. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Let me ask you a question, guys. I was uh, rolling through social this morning, and uh, I think the other day it was like, it was National Pancake Day or something, and they put a picture up. Uh, so it was an old post. Yeah, I, I love pancakes. And uh, and then it said, uh, it, it said the first post said, "Pancakes, king of breakfast, the best breakfast item ever." And I looked at that and I was like, "Yeah, you know, pancakes are a very good breakfast item, but I don't know if pancakes are the breakfast item." The I mean, they were like over then, waffles. And, Oh, over everything. You should have seen. Then somebody said something about, oh, I don't know about that, blah, blah, blah. And then they went off on this paragraph-long thing about why pancakes are the best breakfast food out there. Pancakes and bacon. That guy said pancakes and bacon is the predominant and only breakfast food, like the breakfast food. Pancakes, that's it. Uh. I disagreed wholeheartedly, but I didn't know what to replace it with. Because see, the other thing is pancakes is one of the few breakfast foods, along with waffles, that you can eat just with bacon, and that's considered a breakfast. Right. I mean, you, you can't do that with just eggs. Eggs comes with either eggs and toast, eggs and bacon, eggs and hash browns. Omelets also, same thing, come with like a toast or a hash brown. Yeah. Pancakes or pancakes and bacon. That's it. You can just go pancakes. You don't and even you, need bacon. You could. But you don't even need breakfast meat. But you could go straight pancakes, just pancakes, and that would be considered a good breakfast. Waffles the same way. Maybe. Yeah, but you're also covering it in sugary syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And butter. Yeah. I oh, mean, the goodness. I love pancakes. Oh, you're I, right. It's good. I oh, think out God. of the two, I'm, I'm pro waffle. I think waffle really figured it out. A lot of surface area with the little divots. Yeah, but I, it, pancakes, are, uh, pancakes are so much easier to butter. They are easier to, ooh, I don't know. It than waffles. You don't care about your pancakes experience, then you have to let's, you have to set the butter out an hour early. Well, you do, but it, it's like I need an hour to prep the butter, but only 70 seconds to cook my three frozen pancakes. Jack, Jack, don't create drama. There's not drama. You're not prepping the butter. You're setting the butter out. Yeah, You're that's... doing nothing other than simply taking it out of the fridge. That's it. That is what prep work is. No, it's not. It is. It's not. I am preparing the butter for later use. Do you have a waffle maker? Do you have a waffle iron? Actually, I do now. Do you? Do you I have got, a waffle I, iron? Yeah, I got one. Mm. We tried using it last week. It was a mess. Waffles are so freaking good. I would probably take waffles over pancakes if I had to for a breakfast, like a bread item. I have one waffle iron that will put the New York Yankees logo on it. Do you really? Yeah. That's the gayest thing you own. <laughs> that, and you can make grilled cheese with it, with a Yankee logo, which is awesome. That's a little cooler. Yeah. I've never tried the waffle mm, iron. Yeah. I have. Uh, give me waffles. Yeah, I'm taking waffles. I want one now, but I can't eat them anymore. Why? Because I'm a fat loser, Ross. <laughs> okay. See, I'm why do you get to say that? Fat ass. And That's... we're expected not to say it. Oh, he cursed. He did curse. That's good, awesome. Good thing this doesn't start until tomorrow. Oh. Yes! <laughs> We we decided that redemption. Yeah, yeah. That's well, when yeah. It starts, it starts on Ash Wednesday. Yeah, Today's Fat Tuesday. Twelve o'clock tonight. Today's the day you get it out. Oh, I'm gonna sit in my bed from nine o'clock on and just yell the f word until midnight. Yeah, uh, and matter of fact, at midnight, this is. I mean, at midnight is when that parade of street cleaners and and horseback riding police come down. You know, through Mardi Gras and oh, through yeah. New Orleans. Kicking people out of oh, the way. And, and with those street washers behind them. Oh, yeah. They don't mess around. They do not. I mean, when, they, they, when it is done, it is done. The next day, you can wake up and walk around like nothing ever happened. It's amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. A lot of effort. It's like that Dr. Seuss machine. They just roll that thing down Main Street, <laughs> yeah. down Bourbon. But it's and just some it guy it. named Carl. <laughs> exactly.
Carl's been at it. Oh, right. Candace is texting me saying, tell Ross to answer to the damn phone. I'll tell Jim easy things to fix okay. for the charges. All right, very good. Four She'll seven, have your solution. 916-1041. <laughs> Text us at 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Hang loose. Real radio is Real Music Weekends. Weekends this weekend on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by attorney Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey everyone, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro with a look at your central Florida forecast on this Tuesday. It's going to be a warm one, mostly sunny. Afternoon highs in the mid 80s across the interior. Winds out of the west at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it could be breezy a little bit later this afternoon. We are going to be seeing those warm temperatures continue to rise. Afternoon highs forecast to reach 91 degrees on Thursday. Make sure you're staying hydrated and depend on the Fox 35 Storm Team. This report is sponsored by Staples Stores. Staples Print and Marketing is committed to quality and printing perfect every time. Now at Staples, get $10 off your document printing and marketing materials order of $50 or more. Offer in $225. See staples.com slash stores slash print big for details. Try Staples and see the difference. 2023 is here. Is LASIK one of your New Year's resolutions? Well, if it's not... You should schedule a consultation with the leader in vision correction surgery. Of course, we're talking about the Filatowski Eye Institute. Help my son and my father-in-law to a different life altogether. My father-in-law's eyesight was so good after the surgery, he literally almost cried. And for a week straight, all he did was say he could read this. I can read that. I can read that. It was a game changer. You can have the same exact experience. Just simply text 1041 to 868686. Schedule that appointment now. They use the latest state of the art tech, and their surgeons have tons of experience. Over 65,000 LASIK procedures. You are in good hands. Again, just text 1041 to 868686 and schedule that LASIK consultation with the Filatowski Eye Institute today. I'm good at cutting hair, but I never cut my budget too close. Amscot's installment cash advance from $100 to $1,000 could mean more money and more time to pay it back. And no credit check. Amscot, some restrictions apply, subject to approval. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be ready to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar this Thursday night at 7 p.m. Holiday Inn Universal, one 800 8 875 pass baby boomers and retirees stop losing your retirement the irs will take substantial dollars from your retirement savings unless you take control of your retirement dollars you can gain retirement tax protection from national talk show wealth strategist and best-selling author chuck oliver of the hidden wealth solution he'll give you a head start to be retirement tax and recession smart learn solutions with a track record of measurable results to save thousands in unnecessary taxes and gain retirement recession protection visit retirementprotected.com I love going on double dates to McDonald's. And by double, I mean twice a day. And by dates, I mean quality time with my choice of a savory sausage biscuit or sausage McMuffin paired with hash browns for $2.79 in the morning. Then sneak away for either a delicious McDouble or McChicken with small fries on the side for $3.69 later in the day. Who needs romance when there's McDonald's? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid when product served. No matter what I get, it's 20% off every day when I spend a dollar on the McDonald's app. So yesterday was my please the whole fam on the way to the game meal. Today is my finally get them to stop asking are we there yet meal. Who knows what tomorrow will be? Maybe a delicious crispy chicken sandwich all for myself meal. Whatever it is, it's a win. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid through December 31st, 2023 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Excludes tax. McD app download and registration required. It's the new year. And guess what? I'm in hot water. Hey, it's RC Hill here from RC Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My sales are frozen. So this month, I've cooked up the craziest icebreaker ever. Right now, I'm paying way over appraised value for any car, regardless of make, model, miles, or even condition. If you owe $2,000, $4,000, or even $7,000 more than it's worth, I still want it. Plus, with my dealer next door credit approval process, you could scan 
eight home for just eight. Eight dollars down. We've got the banks to break the ice with lower rates and smaller payments. So you can drive a car that's twice as nice. Come see me at RC Hill Mitsubishi. Check out the new Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. And introducing the all new 2023 Outlander in stock and ready for delivery. For your peace of mind, we provide a lifetime limited warranty. So dump that old ride you hate and you can drive for eight. But hurry, this deal will melt away fast. I'm RC Hill, your car dealer next door. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. See details at rchill.com. On the free iHeartRadio app, you never pay to hear what you love, and you never wait to hear what you want. Save your money, save your time, and listen anywhere. Download the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. iHeartRadio. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one nerve care company. Nervive tablets contain alpha lipoic acid to relieve nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort, plus B-complex vitamins to support healthy nerve function as you age. Live life with less nerve discomfort with Nervive Nerve Relief. Learn more at NerviveHealth.com. And try Nervive Pain Relieving Cream to block nerve pain signals at the source. Use as directed. Hi, this is Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell & Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality, you need a partner that you can count on. If you're a man in this situation, consider contacting Cordell & Cordell. We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Orlando area attorneys, a partner men can count on. Office in Orlando, online at CordellCordell.com. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Joseph Cordell, licensed in Missouri and Illinois only. Car crash? Call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. If you don't know what web goals are, consider yourself lucky. If you feel like helping out, go to JimColbertLive.com and look at stuff. All right, how about this, guys? To keep the significant others honest, um, if you curse, you owe your significant other 20 bucks as well. <laughs> She will take the pay cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show here on Real Radio. I am Jim. Deb is out today. She'll be back with us tomorrow. Jack is here as well. Yo! And so is Ross. We're straight coasting. Uh, Kathy Padgett today for Ross Thoughts? Yeah, yeah. What's the occasion? She, uh, you know, she, she was listening to the show. She uh, heard you say something, Jim. Okay. And then a couple days later, she found out that off of what she learned from what you said, she had great news. Oh, awesome. So it's a good news. It's a That's positive great. phone call. I love hearing that. Good. All right. We'll hear that uh, today at 6 o'clock for Ross Thoughts. Uh, 407-916-1041 to call the program if you have anything to chip in. You know, Jack, the one thing I forgot to ask you about at the beginning of the show uh, yesterday, you had a number of things going on over the weekend. Busy weekend for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did your uh, your timeshare thing this weekend. Oh, Jim, Jim, let me correct you and stop you right there because <laughs> it is not a timeshare. Right, it right. is a vacation club presentation. They would probably consider that curse words, would they not? Yeah, it sounds completely different. Right, they yeah, brought yeah. it up because they wanted to use that as an example of what this is not. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me stop you right there, sir. This is not... This is not that. It's a different time. It's a different thing. This is a vacation club. It is so different than a timeshare. What's we, the big difference? We, don't, we call it something different? We don't use the whole timeshare word here yeah, anymore. Yeah, right, yeah. So a couple of weeks ago, my wife and I were at SeaWorld, and they actually, they're set up at three different places in the park uh, where they'll just, hey, wave you over, sir, 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 and they, you know, they- Would you like a free weekend? Of No. I want to give you complimentary passes to return to SeaWorld in go. the next week. There you I'm go. I'm like, all right, why not? I'll take I'll take advantage of that. I like SeaWorld. Uh, and so then they, you know, run your name. And if it comes up green, then you have an opportunity to get a week at a Wyndham Resort, any one of the Wyndham Resorts for $75. Dad, I bet you're holding your breath the entire time to find out if you're a green. Gave him my ID. Tick, 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 tick. Red. Oh, you're no good to buy. You should have just left. Could have left. Okay. Should have left. Young lady, she's with you, right? Yeah. Young lady, come here. The wife. This is so smart because now they get both of our IDs. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. They get with her ID. Tick, 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 tick. 
Green. Boom, look at Congratulations. There. You qualify. You qualified for a meeting. Now, we promise that we... <laughs> This is you qualified it, for a meeting. <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> what, what, that is so great. What a brown suit of a statement. Sir, I got to tell you, you've won today. You qualify for more time with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a meeting. Not today, not here. You're going to go to this place. We'll, you know, at an appointment, at a time that works for you. It's only going to be one hour. It's a presentation. And at the end, if it's not for you, you're still going to get your nice. week at a window. Nice. So our meeting was this Saturday at 11. And what, you know, what, what was the location? I mean, you don't have to tell me exact. Was it like a Bonnet a... Creek out at Disney? Oh, okay, so it's a Disney thing. Gotcha, it okay. is not a Disney thing. <laughs> oh, okay. They just have it at Disney. <laughs> they have a space at one of the at at a Wyndham Resort. Bonnet Creek is a Wyndham Resort. So far, so they're so, using that. So far, green light. Right, right, right. So, but it is Wyndham. Okay. All right. It's called uh, Tripoli. Is the name of the. Uh, it's, got, very nice. it's got the word the "win" plane. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we get there, and there was traffic on I-4, and it, if you're late, then you can't get in. Then you're going to have to—the next one's two hours later. I'm like, oh, come on. We made it just in time. Get in. They're like, oh, I'll have a cup, coffee, drink. They're like, we need your IDs. My wife forgot her ID. And I'm like, um, I hope this was You know, we just drove an hour or whatever, 45 minutes. And they're like, oh, no problem. Come on in. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, trust me, that's not going to be a road bump. No. That is going to be, you're going to be just fine. So we sit down, and the one lady uh, assigned to us, she was actually kind of the, the second in charge there. I think you could have showed up with a kidnapped yeah. baby. She, she, uh, there were people with babies, and they're not all quiet, because a lot of these people, if you think about it, they're fishing for people who are on vacation. They're fishing at theme parks. So right. you are getting people who are just here on vacation. Right. In the middle of their experience, thinking, how wonderful is this? We could, You're telling me yeah. we could do this two or three times a year? And that was really the message because they try and find out it's about uh, vacations and how you spend your vacations and the quality time. And then, then they bring in the, the Alec Baldwin and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. They, they bring in the closer. And this guy, you know— I. Energy level on a scale of 1 to 10. This guy's running at a 17. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? And hey, boy. guys, how's it going? Man, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Are you ready? Are he, you ready to vacation whenever you want, wherever you want? You know, he's got his pre Every move, you know that he has yeah. thought about and has Rehearsed. done. Yeah. The, he's hitting his pocket when he's yeah. talking about money. This yeah. He's got it all down. And so, but they just talk about what vacations mean to a family it's the thing you Oof. remember. It's when you learn back. They, oh, they sell you on the emotional element sure. of family time together, being on your deathbed, not wishing you were working another right. week, but you wish you spent more quality time with your family. Let me ask you this, sir. Yeah. Did you ever want to hate your wife in Florida and Hawaii? Like, <laughs> that's insane, though. That I feel like that's a little below yeah. the belt. They're yeah. over here throwing out the possibility that you're a bad parent. Listen, yeah. man, whatever it takes is long. Yeah. They don't cut this guy a closer for nothing. Yeah. So the uh, you know they they tell you that and they they also talk this guy about doesn't jingle his pocket for nothing. Th- but what was cool it was the video itself with the, the Mr. Energy was a group presentation and that took up you know the we had some chit chat the first fifteen minutes then that thing took up like a half hour so now you're only ten minutes left they promised no, one hour no and more done than an hour so that ends and then you go to your group so they can talk about you know how to finance this and it's you know. It's they tell you it's not a timeshare. Timeshares, you have taxes, you have maintenance fee. You get none of that with this, right? So you buy into this club and then you get discount. They'll give you free days at, at different uh Wyndham resorts and then a discount for as much as you use it beyond that for the three years. Right, yeah, because it's because it, there's there's only so many free rooms. When you go to certain resorts, it still costs money though, right? It could right. be still thirty dollars a night right. or yeah. fifty bucks a night or whatever. But at a very reasonable price. Yeah, sure. And they talk about where inflation is going and what you would spend yeah, if absolutely. you're gonna go on two vacations a year by comparison, you're saving money. Let me ask you a question. Did yeah. they hit Verbo or did they hit also They definitely Air- mentioned Airbnb and, and and took not not took shots, but mentioned the the drawbacks of those? Actually no. What they mentioned is how they also have properties that are similar. If gotcha. you like, if you like the Verbo or Airbnb experience, we have homes as well that are available. Whoa. You know, so like, yeah, you, you yeah. could do that if you want to get a whole cottage or, or or something. So you know, they present the opportunity. Then that it's that last ten minutes where okay, let's look at the numbers. 
and they, you know, and of course they can do the the payment plan for you and they break it down and, you know, and it's, you know, a few thousand dollars, F- oh, uh, just under $5,000 for a three year th- where you get 14 free days and then discounted days beyond that. 14 free days a year per year or per contract? I think that was per contract. So 14 days for three years is all you get for free, and then everything else is, and it's, and it's it might have been per five. year. It might have been per year. It has and, to yeah, be because it, for 5K, yeah, man, yeah. I mean. But then you get the discount after that. Right. Yeah. So it was per year. It was okay. per year. So you had to come up with five Gs yeah. that day. Yeah. But no, you could have put money down. They would have financed it guaranteed yeah. because they already have an idea of your credit because they already yeah, ran oh, no, you that oh, way. Yeah. You're only yeah. there because of that. Yeah. And so the hour hit, and then I just waited for the right moment and just said, I don't think this is for us at this time. Thank you very much. And she, you know, questioned me again. I was like, no, I don't think uh, this is right for us at this time. Okay. So then I got, I, you know, they brought me to the next place, got my certificate, and then they went through the tablet on how to redeem your certificate for your free week. So I have a certificate to get a free week at Wyndham at any one of the Wyndham places. I understand the availability is what you are right, yeah, yeah. is going to be the challenge there, but I have a year to use it. Enjoy Cincinnati, buddy. Yeah, it might be I, Cincinnati. I, you know I, what? I, from, then I'll go to Cincinnati. From November to January. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Enjoy so, the wonderful world of yeah. Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, so we tour the. Uh, we got our two free world SeaWorld tickets. We use those. So right there, you know, I'm yeah, ahead. Yeah. Now I got my certificate for the free week. Were they crappy about it? Like when you left not at all. They, they were actually quite pleasant. How much you know what? And here's the deal. And a lot of people texted. We talked about this before. They said, "Don't give them your ID. Don't do this, this, and that." They were upfront about everything. They're like, "We are going to give you more incentives because yeah. we want you to agree today. We're trying to sell you this. We want to agree today. We invest this much money in, but if we have a, you know, that, but it's, we don't want to have to chase you down. So we're going to give you all of these benefits if you sign today, and if you don't." You still get that, you know, so they held true to everything that they promised. And it, you know, it was a fine experience. It was a fine experience. I just said no at the end, got my certificate, was on my way. I was regretting it, like leading up to it. I'm like, why did I do this? But afterwards, I'm like, oh, that wasn't so bad. Have you looked around to see if you could book anything yet? I. Uh, the only reason I haven't is because I think you you can't book more than 90 days out and I'm not ready to book. I, I want to book later in the fall. Oh, you can only book three months in advance. I think that is the case. Wow, that's this. wild. That yeah. makes it really a crapshoot for the really, really nice places then because, I mean, right. yeah, yeah, it means but, people will be building yeah. up, waiting to go to those spots. Yeah, I understand the availability. It's They're giving you what they're not selling. How long do you have to redeem it? One year. Cincinnati, here we go. All right, 407-916-1041. Back in a sec. Three decades of real radio. That's 1,560 promotions meetings without one salesperson getting punched. Although it was close a few times. It's Real Radio's 30th anniversary, and we couldn't have done it without you. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Still looking at stop traffic from a crash westbound on I-4 between Osceola Parkway and 417, taking up two left lanes. Eastbound travel on I-4 Heavy 2 between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Problems now westbound on the 408 at Goldenrod Road. There's some sort of object in the roadway, taking up two lanes. Use some extra caution here. See traffic problems? Make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Blindster.com. Do you need new blinds or shades? Blindster.com offers custom-made blind shades and shutters with free shipping and prices less than big box retailers. And right now, save 50% off any order during Blindster's President's Day sale. Hurry, sale ends February 23rd. Blindster.com. Man, here in Central Florida, it gets hot early in the year. 85 degrees tomorrow, 85 degrees Thursday, maybe into the 90s. That is why it is valuable to have an AC company that you can trust and you can lean on and call any time to get your house cool again. For me, for hundreds of Central Floridians and Ross as well, that's been Mills Air. These guys have 30 plus years experience here in Central Florida, and this is a different game when it comes to your AC in this state. Let them use that experience to make sure you never have to worry about your AC. And right now is the time to do it. Uh, That preventive maintenance plan is an 
absolute must. Let these guys tell you all about that. Their techs can service all the brands. Don't even worry about what kind of AC you have. And their carrier factory authorized dealers, which can mean up to $1,275 in rebates towards a brand new carrier unit if you happen to need one. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and certainly turn to the experts at Family Owned and Operated Mills Air. Call today. Schedule that appointment. See what these guys can do for you. 407 277 1159. Online, it's easy. It's millsair.com. I'm Martin Hoke, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I've told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Tara, quote, My doctor wanted me to do saline rinses for my allergies, but I've never been able to successfully use a neti pot. Navage uses suction power, so it's foolproof. There are nights when I'll have particularly bothersome allergies. I'll bust it out, and the results are immediate. It's such a relief. It's become a lifesaver. Unquote. She's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navage is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. In the drawing room, a group of suspects gathered. The detective has solved the mystery. Ladies and gentlemen, the butler did it. <laughs> You'll never catch me. The butler darted to his getaway car. But what he didn't know is this is a Nissan sales event ad. Wait, what? And his car is no match for the detective's Nissan Rogue or its standard VC turbo engine. Save on one of your own at the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Now get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select models. Availability is limited. For well-qualified buyers, 0% APR financing for 36 months available on new 2023 Altima Rogue and Pathfinder when financed through NMAC must take delivery from new dealer stock. 36 months financing at $27.78 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary subject to residency restrictions and NMAC credit approval. Not all buyers qualified. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Offer ends 2-28-23. Here's how to avoid a top mistake in divorce. Text messages and social media posts can wind up in front of a judge. Act accordingly. Don't post like a fool. Divorce? Trendly Kramer Law. TK Law. One firm for life. Com. When inflation is this high, we're all pros at finding creative ways to save. Whether it's driving the extra mile for lower gas prices or grocery shopping on sale day, saving money has never been so important. That's why I have to tell you about my new favorite way to save upside. Upside is an incredible app for anybody who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. Whatever you're doing, you can save money with Upside. With Upside, I'm not getting slammed by inflated prices because I get cash back on every single purchase. To get started, download the free Upside app. Use my promo code REAL, it's R-E-A-L, and you get 25 cents or more back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. Next, you claim the offer for whatever you're buying on Upside, check in at the business, pay like you usually do with a credit or debit card, and get paid. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every single week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating in the App Store. Download the free Upside app and use the promo code REAL to get 25 cents or more back for every gallon on your first tank of gas. That's promo code REAL. Get 20% off your entire order every day when you spend a dollar or more on the McDonald's app. App download required. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. You're listening to WTKS FM HD1 Coco Beach Orlando. Available everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. We are an iHeartRadio station. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. I see Ross as the new goat boy from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> but you know the I'm my butt. Come on, Ross, do it. What is there to do with that? Either do the goat noise or just move on. Let's just move on. 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show here on Real Radio. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate that very much. I'm Jim. Jack and Ross are here as well. Deb will join us back tomorrow. 
What are you clapping your hands? Um, I love our listeners who now, after we talked last about possibly traveling to Cincinnati as being the only destination available in my vacation club uh, experience, uh, they're texting us things to do in Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. Good zoo up there. Cincinnati Zoo, yeah, yeah. and Botanical Garden. Did you... Um... Have you thought about at all? I mean, I know that you guys like tropical locations, right? When you vacation, my yeah. wife is the same way. We like tropical stuff. That's why we cruise a lot. Yeah, we. So, not yet. And this is really what I have decided, and what we have decided is we want to experience different things because we have done a lot of the tropics. I love doing the tropical stuff, and the Jamaica stuff is fun. But I also want to start experiencing things I have not before, whether it's. Uh, the Capitol and the Smithsonian or just going to different places. And in June, we're going to be doing the North Carolina area and like Asheville. And oh, yeah, um, we're going to spend some time in Savannah as well. Nice. Um, and so that is going to be in the early part of summer during our anniversary. So I'm looking for something a little later in the year that we can do. Uh, but it's, it's a blank slate. So yeah, yeah. any of those locations, you know, I'm interested in. I, I like the idea of the of national parks that's, that's being a destination because then you go to places that you normally wouldn't. So yeah. it's, I, I'm. It doesn't have to be Vegas or Los Angeles. It can be. You know, I'm okay in Dubuque. Yeah, we want to do the national maybe. park thing. I think I've only been to two. Yeah, uh, you know, Acadia National Park up in Maine, which is absolutely beautiful. I would suggest that for anybody. And by the way, you as well. I mean, you don't don't sleep on Maine in the spring and summer. It's it can't be more beautiful. I yeah. mean, I, it is, and cheap. It is cheap to get there, cheap to stay around there. Great food, incredible beer. Um, there's legal stuff up there. You know, all kinds of fun travel stuff. See that Jack can get a little fuzzy up there. Yeah, uh-huh. but, but I'm like, you want to go out west and go to some of the big parks out there. Like, um, uh, you know, I haven't been to the Grand Canyon yet. I haven't been to Badlands. I haven't been to Wyoming. Right, or none of those places to see those big wide open spaces. We did do the drive from Vegas to L.A. Um, on our honeymoon, which is really fun. I mean, that's a great ride. Really, dude, dude, that drive through the why? Just because the the so the the color of that sandstone in those canyons at at dusk is absolutely mind melting. Man, it is insanity. I mean, every possible pastel color you could put in the spectrum of red, pink, and orange or yellow is represented. In those sunsets, it's just genuinely unbelievable. So what you do is you fly into Vegas, have a couple days at Vegas, rent a car, theoretically a convertible, and then drive to L.A., stay in L.A. for a night or two, and then drive back to Vegas. It, I don't know that there's a better little seven-day vacation because I think it's like three and a half hours from L.A. to Vegas. See, and that, I mean, here to Miami is longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's like a three and a half That's hour nothing. drive. And the drive is absolutely mind-blowing. There's not one second of it that isn't seen, uh, scenic. And not to mention, you drive by like 10 badass little ghost towns like that you can see, see up on the side of the mountain that were like little mining towns. See, speaking of Vegas, because Vegas is another trip I wanted to do later this year because I also want to go to a Raiders game. Oh, yeah, 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 for you sure. You know, see Aaron Rodgers lead the Silver and Black yeah, 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 yeah. at Allegiant Stadium. <laughs> right, exactly. Have you guys, oh, it's going to be great. Have you guys been to Lake Tahoe? I haven't, but you know who used to go there all the time is Jeff Howell. I'm going there. Yeah, Tahoe. He used to go up there and go skiing with his son in Lake Tahoe. He swears by it. Says it's awesome. Yeah, I'm going there for a wedding, my cousin's wedding. It's supposed to be gorgeous. You know, the one problem they're having up there right now is like too many people. Oh, like gosh. a lot of these little towns, you know what else just got run over? Is like, our, I just showed Jack a... Uh, an artist that I was just introduced to uh, the last couple of days, I named Marcus King, who's like a Southern rocker kind of guy, you know, soul Southern rocker kind of guy. Imagine if like Stapleton, you know, turned it up a little bit, right? Oh, kind of right. kind of that feel. And he's from Greenville, South Carolina. And that little town has gone through a massive trans uh, transformation because of just people. And I'm telling you, man, the internet is killing all these little towns, New Smyrna, Mount Dora, there's expansion going on out there. All these little towns, you know, when the internet gets a hold of it, it goes, hey, this is the 35, 35th best place to live in the nation. They do these lists, best places you don't know about to live. Well, guess what? People start moving there. And that's what happened. That's yeah. what happened in New Smyrna. That's what's happening in Mount Dora. All these cute little towns are like, stop talking about us. Stop telling people how cool we are. Oh, Vito it just went through it. They've made it on that list. 30, the 37th best place to live in the United States of America is Oviedo, Florida. And it was a nothing town with chickens walking around. That's for, like 10 years ago. It was chicken town. Yeah. And now it's like now houses, the bare minimum is like 400 grand there. Woo. 
What is it you call it? Zoom towns? Yeah, Zoom towns. Yeah. But that's changing too because now, like now, employers are. Uh, matter of fact, one of the stories I had pulled today was it was it was listed. Um, no more Mr. Nice Guy. And what they're saying is, is where during the pandemic, these big these big executives, CEOs of tech companies or you know whatever companies were like, oh yeah yeah, do whatever you got to do, keep your family safe, keep your stuff safe, you blah blah blah. And then Biden comes out and goes, well, it's over. And and these CEOs are going, okay. Nobody's coming back, okay? And then the thing is, is today, over the next year and two years, all these offices and all these people that have been enjoying working from home, that's going to come to an end for a lot of them. A lot of these big companies are just requiring people to come back. Productivity's down. It's that simple. It's always the bottom line. Always. Always the bottom line. Productivity's down. Can't be as effective outside the office. I don't care what you say. You know, I mean, here's the thing. You can say, well, we're doing okay. Well, the problem with that is a lot of people, especially CEOs, go, well, if you're doing okay, that means you can do a lot better. So what, what's the separation here? You know, what's keeping you from being just okay and making it to being the best or, you know, being the most efficient? So a lot of those people are telling people to come back to work. I don't know many people that work at home anymore. Do you? No. Yeah, most people I know are back, back at the office. Yeah, I don't know I mean, anybody well, who's still working the, at the home. The reps here in the building. I oh, mean, there's a lot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our whole traffic department. Yeah, they're on. not here. They're we not have, in the building. Yeah. We have one of those. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. They traffic the spots. It's not about automobile traffic. <laughs> it's how the spots get in the, takes, on the radio, Ross. Um, imagine like uh, an air traffic controller for ads. Yeah. That's what that is. All right. In my defense, there <laughs> is a literal traffic. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. I mean, no one's angry. Jack's trying to make fun of you because but it's funny. Also, uh, in my defense, you've been doing this job for five years. Yeah, yeah. That's and, fine, I, and I know. And I met three new people. Because no one's here. Yeah, no one is here. We know Steve. And the t- new yeah, guy. yeah, I know Steve and Larry, <laughs> who, who doesn't talk. The two Muppets that are, you know, yeah, yeah. on top in the balcony, poorly reviewing oh, right. shows. Oh, my God. They are. <laughs> I, I saw the boss today for the first time in three weeks. Yeah. She was out there talking to Jack about something. I was like, I yep. know her. Hey, there's no rules, man. Actually, yeah, we were talking about making that, expanding the lounge. Really? Yeah. I thought they were actually talking about sawing this building in half and, and, and us only having half the space. No, we're making it bigger. No, we're not. No, no we're no. just making it more fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Terrifying. For, for did, whom? <laughs> did you see the new lounge, the Duncan Lounge? Yeah, I did see that. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We have a Duncan Music Lounge. Well, why Duncan? Uh, they Dunkin probably Donuts? struck a deal, buddy. Cha-ching. Struck a deal. So it's all back there like Duncan um, yeah. uh, pillows and yeah. carpets and chairs. That's what's up. I, what, we don't get that. They, we're back here in the corner. That's Roomba stuff. They're very important. I want a Duncan well, Lounge. Actually, it's for everyone, but is the, it? the agreement is for certain stations to do... Music interviews there. Oh, really? And, and social. It's a. It's really? Supposed to be, yeah. There's a, a social. It, it's a spot where you will see social posts being made from, but it's connected to music performances. So we are actually off the hook when it comes to that. Really? Yeah. So don't feel excluded. Feel rewarded. Yeah. No, I don't. We should get a Colbert <laughs> lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put a pitch in for that. So we can just smoke cigars and talk different types of cuts of bacon. Or let's just ask for a computer that works for Deborah so when she pulls her news, it doesn't crash on her. Time out. It only took six months, and I got you your computer. <laughs> I just started. I've only asked six times for Deborah's computer. Six months, are you? All right, 407-916-1041. There's a Florida bill out there. Guys, is being introduced. What's it about? Senate Bill 932, and it has to do with your pets. And I'll tell you exactly what that is next. I got to tell you, there's going to be a bunch of people who aren't going to like this at all. But the problem is, it's like a lot of these bills where they build in a bunch of stuff into one bill. Yeah. One of this, one part of this, you're like, yeah, that sucks. And then another part is like, oh, okay, I guess. What am I voting for here? I'll tell you exactly what that is next. Same address on another social platform at Real Radio 1041 on TikTok. Powered by Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. 
Eastbound travel on I-4 still heavy coming out of Polk County between U.S. Highway 27 to 429. It's also solid between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Westbound busy too between Osceola Parkway and 417. And southbound travel on 417 very heavy between Boggy Creek Road and Landstar Boulevard. See traffic problems? Make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Audible. Find everything you love listening to on Audible. Hear celebrity memoirs, mysteries, true crime, sci-fi, and more. Audible is the home of storytelling, audiobooks, podcasts, and originals. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. You know, inflation running high. Nobody really knows when it's going to level out. That's why you got to buy your windows and doors right now at FAS and lock in your price. Let me skip off the copy here real quick and tell you something. I've owned two, three homes. I've installed FAS uh, windows and doors in every home. The one I'm in now, it... It's impossible to explain the change, especially during the summer when your house feels sticky and humid inside. That's because those windows you have are terrible. you got to get them out of there. Windows from FAS, windows and doors, seal that up. You don't feel that humidity inside. Your AC works way less, which means it lasts longer, and your power bill is considerably lower. Not to mention, it increases the value of your home. It increases the protection of your home because they have hurricane glass, uh, protective glass, in these windows and doors. Not to mention the styling. Man, there's so many great styles. Just drop by their showroom, Fairbanks and I-4, go in, look around, find out what they can put in your home. Let them talk to you about what they can do for you. Simply amazing stuff. The installations are awesome. They give you plenty of options for um, for windows. You'll love doing business with them. It's FASWD.com. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by Skylight Roofing. Roof with us, skylightroofing.com. I love going on double dates to McDonald's. And by double, I mean twice a day. And by dates, I mean quality time with my choice of a savory sausage biscuit or sausage McMuffin paired with hash browns for $2.79 in the morning. Then sneak away for either a delicious McDouble or McChicken with small fries on the side for $3.69 later in the day. Who needs romance when there's McDonald's? Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Valid when product served. No matter what I get, it's 20% off every day when I spend a dollar on the McDonald's app. So yesterday was my please the whole fam on the way to the game meal. Today is my finally get them to stop asking are we there yet meal. Who knows what tomorrow will be? Maybe a delicious crispy chicken sandwich all for myself meal. Whatever it is, it's a win. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid through December 31st, 2023 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Excludes tax. McD app download and registration required. I'm Martin Hoke, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I've told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Tara, quote, my doctor wanted me to do saline rinses for my allergies, but I've never been able to successfully use a neti pot. Navage uses suction power, so it's foolproof. There are nights when I'll have particularly bothersome allergies. I'll bust it out, and the results are immediate. It's such a relief. It's become a lifesaver. Unquote. She's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navage is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. Managing health care for yourself, your kids, your aging parents, it's a lot to keep track of everything. Now you have help. Welcome to Village Medical, a whole new kind of primary care that's a lot more caring. Here your doctor really gets to know your family's needs and coordinates all their visits, labs, even prescriptions. Plus you can make same day appointments or schedule video or at home visits, all covered by most insurance. It sounds different because it is different. Go to villagemedical.com and become a patient today. Late night decisions aren't my strength. I could do another episode. <sighs> I should check out that noise coming from the woods. Let's get tattoos! But one call that never fails is Wendy's, where every burger starts with fresh beef. Unlike my ankle dolphin, I never regret a Baconator. Have a good bite. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's Late Night. Hours may vary. Fresh beef available in contiguous North America. Sometimes the speed of life is too fast, and your budget needs a beat to catch up. 
Amps got cash advance, up to $500 fast with no credit check. Amps got some restrictions apply, subject to approval. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Preventive maintenance on all brands, and that saves you money and can detect an upcoming breakdown. Visit MillsAir.com. Only iHeartRadio gives you access to all. iHeartRadio. Access to all of your favorite radio stations. It's Ryan Seacrest. I go by the name of Charlemagne the God. Hi, I'm Ellen Kay. Bobby Bones here. Hola, soy Enrique Santos. Access to all of the best free curated playlists. My favorite music. The best songs. A little bit of everything. Access to all of the great podcasts for every interest. The Stuff You Should Know podcast. The Daily Show podcast. The Herd with Colin Cowherd. And best of all, it doesn't cost a thing. Download the absolutely free iHeartRadio app now. As America's largest largest injury law firm size is our strength morgan and morgan are you offended yet obviously we're only kidding you're listening to the jim colbert show hey guys michigan chuck here just wanted to wish everybody at real radio 104.1 Happy anniversary. I've been listening since day one, off and on. Thank God for iHeartRadio. And before that, XM Radio when I moved back to Michigan. Ugh. Anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful another 30 awesome. years. Wow. And I'll be listening. Unbelievable. Yeah, because it was only real radio for a short period of time before I joined here. It was uh, Whisper 1041 and then Talk 1041 for a while. Yeah. And then it went to real radio, I think, when, not when Paxson bought it, when, um, this is the Jersey, the crew from Jersey that had it. Press there Broadcasting. You go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Jim hated the name. He wanted it to be called uh, Real Talk 1041. It was just real radio. It's kind of worked out. Yeah, 407. Uh, why was it called Whisper Radio? It was like a uh, before it switched to talk. It was like a you know just a was easy listening station, if I remember right. Was that right? I think it was an easy listening station. Was it Whisper? Wasn't a talk? Was it? I was not listening at the time. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. tell you that. God, man, I've always wanted to be Delilah. It was in the it was in the bottom floor of a bank building. Mm. I started listening in '94 in Pine Hills. Uh, then it moved over to uh, Lee Road in that area there, over by uh, Addison, right off of I four. And then, of course, to here. And we've been here since, you know, the late 90s. Mid-90s, actually. Uh, 407 9 went This June is 30 years for myself and Russ. Correct. You think I could pull off Delilah? Give out, like... Well, that's an odd way to say that. Uh, it is. Do you think you could pull off a show like Delilah's? Like yeah, yeah. Wouldn't she just show? give, like, sage wisdom? Yeah. Oh. She, she had, she Was had, it sexual? Yeah, like, but she, she had, had drama, something though. like um, wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But she always, she had. I'm like, on my way. There's like a weird thing with her, too. I think she had a Easy. she has a lot of family drama or something, too, right? I, I'm pre-pubescent wisdom. Well, no, you're, you're pubescent, buddy. Not his wisdom, though. Not, not oh, my I, wisdom. Oh, my, wisdom gotcha. my wisdom just started getting hair. Well, we'll have some people ask you questions, and maybe you can answer. What would your name be, though? It can't be Delilah. Well, no, no. You can't say Ross. I mean, that doesn't sound very wise. Rosalina. Rosalina? Yeah, you're a yeah. male. You're male. That's not. A, that's not like. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't use the name Rosalina, but well, it's, that's it's, what it's I'm of, using. It's kind of misleading, is it not? No. Yeah. Okay. Come on. We're not doing this. We're I, not. We're not having you fake a female's voice so you can. You just do it as a male. Why don't you just do it as as a male? Does this voice really upset you? Enough not to go on with it, because I have something I want to talk about, and that it's not that voice, Delilah, or I'm sorry, Rosalina. You're missing out. So anyway, this Florida bill, uh, Senate Bill 932, is uh, filed by State Senator Lauren Book. She is a Democrat from Broward County. It's an intended to protect animals. And there's a couple things that it's going to stop you from being able to do. Does Let's, it involve <clears throat> peanut butter? It does not involve peanut butter. But it, do it does involve your dog. Okay. No peanut butter, I'm out. What do you think it is? What would you think that somebody would go take the time to file a bill... Uh, oh, where your dog um, uh, leaves, it's picking up after your dog. No, it's not the poop thing. I, I, let's say this. It's, it's something with microchipping. Nope. It, okay, but it's feeding it table food. In relation to your vehicle. Oh, you, having a dog car seat. Dog car seat. Dogs only in the back. Can't be in the back of a truck. That's one of them. 
back of a trunk. Okay, when if the dog is in the back of a truck, after, if this passes, if you have a if you have a dog and the dog is going to be in the back of your truck, it has to be in a crate big enough so that the dog can turn around and lay down fully in the crate. That's one of them. There's something else about dogs and vehicles. Can't let two, them drive. Two more things actually. You can't. They need a seatbelt. No seatbelt. That's not it. I mean, they probably. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have them. They can't be in the front seat. They, I thought they can't be in the lap of the driver. Right. Okay. That's a, from yeah. this is going to say your your dog cannot be in the lap of the driver I, now. I don't. I don't have a problem with I that. I do one. not have a problem with that <laughs> one either. I do. The other one is your dog cannot stick its head out the window. Oh come take it, on! Take it back. There's no way. That is a true statement. This bill. Oh my this god. This bill wants to end. You riding and allowing your dog to stick its head out the window and enjoy the beautiful breeze as it rides. One of the greatest joys of a dog's life, and you want to deny it? That's half she their hates, purpose. She hates dogs. She does hate dogs. How and, are you going to deny that? I, that's one of my favorite things to a, see in traffic. A new Florida bill would make it illegal oh. to let a dog be in the driver's lap or stick their head out of the window of a moving car. Boo. Boo! It's Boo. A, oh, now also, in the context of this, they she also wants to make it illegal to declaw your cat. And I don't really have a I don't have a a dog in that hunt, so I don't care one or the other. <laughs> is that a, is that a, is, that, is that cruel? Yeah, it, I mean, and it's considered cruel. It used to be a thing because where people would like, hey, they ruin their I, I don't want to ruin my stuff. But they they pretty much everyone is on board yeah. with the saying, and it, it's pretty. It's yeah. pretty cruel. If you have to change the anatomy of your pet, is yeah, it that yeah. good? Uh, yeah. The bill also includes provisions to make it illegal to have a dog transported on the running board, fender, hood, or roof of a motor vehicle. Running board. Yeah, fender, so in other hood. words, you're, you're, okay. <laughs> it has to be okay. inside the car. Yeah. Uh, you can't put it in the trunk or in an enclosed cargo space. They also may not be transported in a car that's being towed. So if you have a car that's being towed, you can't leave your dog in there anymore. <laughs> what, if, what if you're... Don't know it's being towed. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, who's this politician? Uh, Who do La I not like? Lauren Book from yeah. uh, from Broward County, Democrat from Broward County. Yeah, peace out, Lauren Brook. <laughs> it's Book. Book. Lauren Book. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, the window thing's got to go. What do you think the uh, What do you think the violations for this is? If they fifty dollars, if they find that you declawed your cat, how much is it going to cost you? Well, one hundred and fifty. One hundred fifty. Fifty bucks a nail. Thousand bucks. Claw. Yeah. One thousand dollars. If they find that you've declawed your cat, I mean, will nobody do it? Do vets do that anymore, or is that? I think if you find a oh, sketchy yeah. vet, not a sketchy vet, like not a sketch vet, like but... a vet the Joker would go to, or no, nah, but I think you just, uh, hey, do me a solid here, mm -hmm. nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Also, it says that um, a, a provision in the text would also allow courts to ban offenders from owning animals. So if you get busted with your dog hanging its head out the window and enjoying a ride as it I could, is there anything more American than that? It's beautiful. Then you riding around with your dog, your dog just slobbering down the side of your car, yeah. happy as the dog is ever. Yeah, right then, yeah, yeah, yeah. they want to also, if you get busted doing that, they want to empower the court to never allow you to have another animal. Whack. Let's bring this up with Daryl Lamar. Can you believe <laughs> that? To never, in other words, to ban you from owning an animal if your dog rides with its head out the window. That's their that's, that dragon. Is, that's that's what they chase. Right. That's their thing. I've always been jealous of my dog whenever they stick, whenever she sticks her head out of my car window because she looks like she's like there's no way tripping to... balls. Well, especially in your car, you shouldn't deny them that opportunity for fresh air and the ability to escape. Can I tell you something? You just putting a dog in your car is yeah. more dangerous than. And in fact, can I tell you, it's sticking its head out. It's just trying to stay alive. Yes. It's trying to get fresh air, absent of mold. My car's value, my, my car gets cleaner when I transport a dog. That's how dirty my car is. Also, no no cosmetic testing, but I think we can all agree to that. Man, this is tough. That is, I don't I like mean, that's, this. That's tough business. Oh, I'm mad. It doesn't say how much the, uh, oh, the citation for the dog would be like a moving a moving citation. Ooh. So not on top of that, you have, um, it would not count as a criminal traffic infraction, though, but it is a moving violation for sure. So what's that, a hundred and... Uh, my I think my tag my tag going bad the other day was one hundred and thirteen dollars. That's how much it cost me. Wait, what do you mean the other day? I got pulled over. My tag was expired again. What again? Yes. Whoa! Whoa! Listen, man. This, whoa! This one's not my fault. Whoa! whoa. I'll, I'll tell you what happened. 
Now you sound like my kid. I'll tell you what happened. Yes. This is what happened. Oh, you need sage advice now. So I have a little boat and a trailer as well. When I went to uh, reboot my my um, my registration, I thought I rebooted my truck, my trailer, and my boat all for two years at the same time. But I did not. I only rebooted the boat and the trailer for two years. My truck ran out on my birthday in December. And I got pulled over. $113. Another electronic defeat. That's not an electronic defeat. You clicked the wrong box. No, I clicked the right box. I just clicked it for the wrong thing. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> sounds sounds like a web website oopsie daisy. Yeah, it's a little bit of a oopsie daisy there. <laughs> oh, Jim, Jim, yeah, Jim, yeah. Jim, Jim, Jim. $113. Thank God wife didn't say anything about it. Oh. You are a concrete man living you, in a you, digital you, world. You you could <laughs> you could pay for it with all the money you saved from your subscriptions that you've canceled. Oh wait, you still haven't done that. Can I ask you a quick question for you guys? If if your wife like if she gives you a few things to do, or this could be for women as well. If your if your man asks you to do something, oh, wrong. I try, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try. I am <laughs> o for two hundred and twenty eight. Asking her to do stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no chance. Zero listening. <laughs> so let's say your wife gives you a number of things to achieve, right? And uh, she goes, "Well, could you do this?" Could... And and look, they're all just like it's just errand stuff. It's just stuff that needs to be done for the house, right? It's not that she's passing it off; she can't do it. They're just we're busy people. She works a longer day than I do, so she gives me a few things that in the morning, when I have extra time before I come to work, if I can nail these things out, it would help everybody out, right? Teamwork, teamwork, exactly. Mm. Inevitably, at the end of the day, she will call and ask if I got one thing done, and every single time she asks it's the one thing i didn't achieve and she's she's a thousand and o oh. she's <laughs> never lost 10 items jimmy did you happen to call this person and schedule this appointment you know honey out of the 10 things you gave me to do i achieved every one of them except the one you've asked me about you know how often that happens in my house? I'd say rarely because I don't think she trusts you with 10 things no, to no, no. do. Trust me when I tell you, every single time, every single time, she will give me a list of things to do. Inevitably, the one thing she asks me about is the thing I didn't achieve. And I say to her every time, I'm like, wow, I wish you would have asked me about the 15 other things you told me uh, to do because I would have gladly said, yep, nailed it. But nope, you managed to scurry out the one thing that I wasn't able to achieve today and remind me about it. Awesome. And they wonder why when they come home, we go ahead and say like, hey, <laughs> see that kitchen that I cleaned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. Because we're, we're too focused on all the massive losses. Oh, my God, man. She never questioned why you never noticed the 12 slash 22 yellow sticker on your back tag no, and I, realizing that it look, was outdated. She knows that I don't think about things like that at all, buddy. <laughs> I do not listen. It's the reason I run out of gas because I got so many other things going on in my life. I don't bother looking at my gas gauge. I just know I crank my truck and it goes. Yeah, who would call a gas <laughs> gauge important? I, mean, so, I didn't say it wasn't important. I'm if, just saying I don't pay attention to it sometimes. <laughs> I get sidetracked. I get going. It's like how many times have I said, what were we talking about? Because once I start thinking about one thing, I can't veer off of that or I will just get lost. I think they call it dementia. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, I don't know what's going on. But but that is the case. I mean, every single time. Every single time. Did you get this done? Nope, baby. Sure didn't. That's the one thing so, that I didn't get done in the 50 things you asked me to do You today. know what? You, <laughs> might, you <laughs> might be right. Now what? it's 50 things. Yeah, yeah, it went from 10 what? to 50. No, what? it went from Wasn't 10. able to nail that one down, So baby. here's the deal. <laughs> we we so all saw it. You're we right. Stop at 15. You are right. This is Tori's fault. It's not Tori's fault. She is. She is <laughs> obviously asking yeah. you to do too much. If you cannot do the simple yeah. thing she asks, yeah, yeah. And it's too she, much. Obviously, she's texting you. She is not. Yeah, yeah. She definitely has texted you. <laughs> yeah. and she's listening. She did not. Yeah, yeah. Who did? Uh, someone about the dog law. Oh, okay, good. God, uh, that still pisses me off. What? The dog thing with the... the yeah. I, you know, they're just going to have to ticket me. Because my dog's riding with his. She, um, like, she likes to ride with her head out of the yeah. window. What do you do? What do you do? If, I mean, if look, if I had that big Dexter, when I had Dexter... The, the Mastiff, his entire life revolved around hanging his big stupid head out that window and slobbering up the right side of my car. So the text I just received was about all the television commercials 
where there's a dog dog's oh. head sticking out the window. Oh man, are you kidding? Like I'm telling you, it is it is an iconic American image. A dog riding with that dog smile. It's a lab, a golden lab. It's got a tongue hanging out. It's got a little drool happening. Couldn't be happier. Sniffing Could, the infinite amount of smells. Could not be happier. Just as American as the DMV. You know, the same DMV <laughs> that will send you a renewal notice to your home before your tag expires, usually a month or two before your birthday. Jack. What happened to that piece of mail? Don't even, See, don't that's even know. Your, where, that's, I, don't, I don't even know where my mailbox is. That is your level of technology. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, man, look, he's I got so it. from Palatka, he's not looking at any mail. No, I, yeah, I <laughs> listen. Just kill, I think you just killed Jack. That, that's deep Palatka. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. Sorry, buddy. Can't, can't, can't help you out. Mail. <laughs> mail, man. Mail, well, man. When are you going to bring female? <laughs> You're double bad, male man. I need me a female female. Ooh. Every single time. I see. I, I feel like I'm now part of the club. I'm well, part of the club. You are I'm the married. married club. Yeah, you can bitch and moan now. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's so good. You know what? Also, I learned about being part of the marriage club. Which I learned this one? from Jack. Which is? Is that. If Watch someone, it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, if, might want to be careful with this advice. If she looks back over her shoulder, angry. I am. Yeah. I am now underneath the imp- impression that if someone tells me like, uh, like a deep, dark secret about marriage, about or themselves, themselves or anybody, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. that it is without a doubt, no questions asked, understood that I'm also telling my wife. Yes, that is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Like I they, think uh, that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. automatically understand that if you tell me something one thousand percent of the time, my wife is going to know it. She yep. it, you, she is my partner. That's what we do. It's awesome. Yeah, you can't keep secrets. I don't care. I mean, I, I think everybody knows, you know, when yeah, you know, everybody knows if you tell somebody something in these rooms. And you, know, I can assume that Jack is going to discuss yeah. anything with Naomi, and I assume that you're going to discuss it with uh, Olivia, and I assume that Deborah is going to discuss it with Chris. And Ross, where did you learn that? Who did you learn that from? Jack. Good. I just want to make sure my wife hers that. Yeah, yeah, right. Hers it. Yeah, give yourself a buzzer, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. I did say hers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, 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 all of a sudden, you turned into Nelly. <laughs> Are you, I'm sorry, I can't see. I it's thought that was Jack. I thought that was Jack. Hers. Not a Saint Lunatic. <laughs> yeah. Here comes Jack Tyler Perry Bradshaw. <laughs> I did play. I did play Nelly. Did you really? Yeah, we played yeah. Hot and Her. No, I don't know. Maybe it's upcoming. Medea like, goes to the Bradshaw. Uh, you're a part of the club. That's great. You get to. I am. Them. You get to smoke a cigar and oh, my old lady. Oh mm. man. You get to kick the can. She gave me a list of ten things. I did nine of them, and what did she ask me about? The one thing I didn't do. Every, everybody in the damn audience knows that's true. This, everybody knows that's true. Every dude, look, you know half the memes on TikTok are that. This half list of memes. fifteen things where I did fourteen of them, and one thing she oh. picks out of the forty-nine things I did. <laughs> She picks the one thing out of that list of 50. Let me ask you, do you guys do house uh, chores with your wife and stuff? She'll sure. like, like she would hang stuff up, move yeah. stuff here, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I do. However, I find myself being more productive when I have the house by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cle- cleaning wise. I do too. Yeah. Because when, you know, when Tori finds something she wants me to do, like whatever I'm doing has to come to an end. And then I move to her project. And then, of course, we're on her project for the rest of the day. Yeah. And then she says, why don't you get that thing done? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm like, baby, you pulled me off of that to help you. I know, but I gave you plenty of time. Gotta love it. <sighs> She's gonna have a very good workout today. She's listening to this right now. On her way to Pilates, I bet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Work out anger from... usually fuels me too. Yeah, yeah, working out from laughter. Is that what you're saying? I was so confused. Uh, <laughs> Some chuckle crunches. But no, I I think I clean and do more of the house stuff when I have mornings like I had. Yeah. Yesterday and today, I, I would think that my wife would agree with that hundred percent. She gets more done when I'm out of the house, and I definitely get more. Like Saturday, I was outside yeah. working in our garage and around the property all day. She was inside doing stuff. We didn't see each other for probably three or four hours, and just absolutely nailed all of it. It was perfect. But tour, I did ninety nine of the one hundred things you asked. <laughs> Don't call her tour. That's you. That's right. It's only me, buddy.
407-916-1041. Text us at 770 Explain it to him, Ross. Load him up for trivia. We're doing that next. <laughs> it was an impersonation. Out of the 20 things, Tori. <laughs> Out of the 200 things. Back in a sec. We have a prize. Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is Super Bowl champion Alfred Williams. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Tanking in order to secure a top quarterback has become a popular strategy. But when you start to look into how the top three picks have fared over their careers, and only three quarterbacks selected inside the top three have won a Super Bowl for the team that drafted them. This year's class features plenty of intriguing options. But after looking at how top picks have fared over the last half century, getting a QB up top doesn't guarantee anything. I'm Dan Patrick. Intelligence runs in the family. Innovation runs in the family. Extraordinary runs in the family. The Mercedes-Benz range of SUVs. Every member is waiting to impress. Learn more at MBUSA.com. Oh boy, Twitter poll just went up. It's a freshie at Real Radio 1041 on Twitter. Make sure you follow us there. Play in the poll, and we'll talk about it at the end of the program today. It is brought to you by MyHomeBuildersNetwork.com. That is Mike, the home builder. Man, Mike is great. Um, also sponsor of this year's Monster Brew Bus. But when you need a roof, Mike is the guy to call. When you need gutters, Mike is the guy to call. Windows, call Mike at My Home Builders Network. Dot com did my roof did my gutters fantastic plus i got black gutters and they have that the the cover on them so i do not have to get a ladder a couple times every year to scoop out the leaves it is so great great quality great installation great service all for a fair price that is my home builders network.com talk to mike the home builder he's a great guy and he can take care of you we all do it joining online home improvement groups and saving our favorite kitchens thinking Someday, but a kitchen remodel seems too expensive and time consuming, right? Actually, you would be surprised at how affordable and efficient it can be. And with Home Outlet, you have access to the largest selection of in-stock cabinets, plus completely free kitchen planning services. Let the experienced designers at Home Outlet help you turn Sunday into today. Visit your local 100% employee-owned Home Outlet to get started. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-777-1979. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-777-1979. That's 800-777-1979. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. Are you ready for Bike Week? Come join us for not one but two free concerts brought to you by Rich Newsom, Motorcycle Lawyer. That's right, two free concerts at the world-famous Cackleberry Campground in New Smyrna Beach. Come out and see Confederate Railroad Sunday, March 5th, followed by Colt Ford Thursday, March 9th. Shows start at 8 p.m. We can't wait to see you there. Brought to you by Rich Newsom, Motorcycle Lawyer. For more details, visit BigBikeLaw.com. Shopping at International Diamond Center is always fun, but working at IDC is even better. Actually, how can you call this work? Being with a great family business, meeting smiling people during the best moments of their life, and being given unlimited opportunity for growth? Are you ready to join the IDC family? We're hiring. Now with 10 showrooms across Florida, we have opportunities at every level. Management, sales, administrative, and operations. And we're not a faceless corporation. IDC is owned by the LeClaire family, where values like integrity, fairness, and respect always come first for our customers and our team members. We offer generous compensation, 401k plans, health insurance, and incredible growth opportunities. All this in a fun, stress-free environment where you're treated like part of the family. Interested in learning more about joining the IDC revolution? 
Go to shopidc.com, look for job opportunities, and start the conversation. International Diamond Center, where people, customers, and employees always have more fun. In the drawing room, a group of suspects gathered. The detective has solved the mystery. Ladies and gentlemen, the butler did it. <laughs> You'll never catch me. The butler darted to his getaway car. But what he didn't know is this is a Nissan sales event ad. Wait, what? And his car is no match for the detective's Nissan Rogue or its standard VC turbo engine. Save on one of your own at the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event. Now get 0% APR financing for 36 months on select models. Availability is limited. For well-qualified buyers, 0% APR financing for 36 months available on new 2023 Altima Rogue and Pathfinder when financed through NMAC. Must take delivery from new dealer stock. 36 months financing at $27.78 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary subject to residency restrictions and NMAC credit approval. Not all buyers qualified. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Offer ends 2 23 This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio. Real radio. 104.1 So, and this is God's honest truth. My mom used to have a chihuahua that would ride on her motorcycle with her. He would be in a little backpack in the front, well, I guess a front pack, and he would have, wear a little helmet and little goggles. They were called doggles. And uh, he would ride on the motorcycle with her for hours and hours. Wonder what the rules on that would be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing it would be uh, verboten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I don't think they probably like the chihuahua and the helmet. If they don't like your lab with its head out the window a little bit, I doubt they want you with a, uh, a motorcycling chihuahua. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. I'm Jim. Jack is here as well. Hi there. And Ross has the sauce jar. All aboard! <clears throat> what was that? All aboard! Chugga chugga. Choo choo. Look at it, Glack. Look at it, Glack. I have a pair of grounds passes oh, yeah, to the baby. orlando palmer invitational for thursday march 3rd now who's who's Orla orlando palmer was he also a good golfer because <laughs> i know that arnold palmer was a great golfer I've, I've never heard of orlando palmer i said that <laughs> passes to the arnold palmer invitational that's going down thursday march 3rd throughout the weekend these tickets are good for thursday march 3rd this is the premier golf event of Central Florida. Yes. If you are any bit interested in golf, this is the place to be. And also, we all week we're giving away eight tickets to API. Yep. That's for Arnold Palmer Invitational. Um, and it's been something we've been doing since the start of the show, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ross and I are playing tomorrow morning. And that is your sauce jar, which is brought to you by Cento Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O. Moving and Storage. Word on the street is... So they take care of your stuff better than you take care of your stuff. Oh, that's that. true. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. true. So yeah. go ahead, hit them up. Let them know that you heard about them through us, the Jim Colbert Show. Bang! That's a discount. What? What? And then back over to you, my glass-wearing friend. There you go. Good. We have, uh, lost some of our players. What happened? Everybody just bailed. They, they don't. They didn't want to win tickets to Orlando Palmer. Oh well, <laughs> that's not my fault. <laughs> It's uh, not my fault. Well, we had five lines. I'm saying maybe dropped off and they found out about Orlando Palmer. <laughs> they should have been able to tell that I was talking about the Ar Arnold. All right, 407-916-1041. We do need players. we got a couple we got lines. Two open. lines grab open. Yeah, grab him. Let's go to Stan here first. Hey, Stan, how you doing? Welcome to the show, buddy. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Doing well. How about yourself? Good. Want to play a little game with us? Sure thing. Let's, Let's do it. Do you want to play a game? All right, Stan, this is a very easy game. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of them is untrue. It's a lie. If you can find it, off to the sauce jar you go. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, here sir. Here we go. On this day in 1979, actor, comedian, Oscar-nominated filmmaker. He's known for extremes, horror, and comedy. Ooh. Partnership was a key to his success. Key, key. Oh, a key and peel. Oh, uh, uh, peel. No, key. Let go. Key. No, if you, peel. If you don't believe that, you can get out. That's right. It's Jordan Peel's birthday go. today. Uh, here are three fun facts about Jordan and one lie for us. Number one. Oh, yes. He was introduced to show business by his mother, who was a set designer for Mad TV. Number two. 
He was the first African-American to win an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Number three, his college degree is in puppeteering. Or lastly, his middle name is Hayworth. Which one of those is a lie? Well, I'm going to say number two, sir. No, that's true. Uh, he is the first African-American to win an Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. Nobody had ever done that before as a black man or woman. Who's next? Let's welcome Guy. Guy, right there at the bottom. Guy, how are you? Doing well. Good, buddy. We're talking about Thank Jordan you. Peele here. Tell me which one of these is untrue. Number one, he was introduced to show business by his mother, who was a set designer for Mad TV. Number two, his college degree is in puppeteering. Or lastly, his middle name is Hayworth. Number two. No, number two is true as well. He does have a college degree, and it is in puppeteering which is what he thought he was going to do. That's a dub for you, Puzzle yeah, Master. Yeah, my pick is still alive. All right. Let's welcome Brandon. There you go. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Doing well. Thank you. Good, buddy. You have a 50-50 shot at going to the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Which one of these about Jordan Peele is untrue? Number one, he was introduced to show business by his mother, who was a set designer for Mad TV. Or lastly, his middle name is Hayworth. Hayward. No, that's true, buddy. His middle name is <laughs> yeah. Hayward. Oh, the puzzle master. Oh. Sloan. Hello. How are you, sir? I feel like I'm going to be a winner in just a minute. You are going to be a winner. Yay. Tell me if this is true or not. Jordan Peele's mother introduced him to show business because she was a set designer for Mad TV. We're going to go with false. That's false, and you're going to the API. Brother, have fun. Sloan! All right, thank you. You got it, buddy. All right. Sloan knows how to play. He does. I've never heard him play before either. I knew it couldn't be the middle name because it was yesterday's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Franklin. But that's why I put it on there. That was perfect. I was going to throw it in there. Because I'm like, oh, wait a second. Did he? (laughs) Did he? And then I'm like, uh, so I had it down to those two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jordan Peele, uh, what a talent, right? Amazing. Well, just what they did uh, comedy-wise but then they come out with these movies like but get let me out tell you, and, yeah if you look at his portfolio it's pretty yeah. crazy and man he's done a lot you know he quit acting because you know that emoji movie yeah, yeah. i guess he was offered a role in the emoji movie and just because they offered him a role just because they thought he would say possibly yes he actually kind of that's when he stopped acting and only started <laughs> doing little bit roles i swear that's what he says in his own bio and that's when he started really concentrating on making films which is what he wanted to do he was uh, he Audition for SNL and didn't make it. It's looked at the Emoji movie as like one of the worst movies of the last like right. 10 years. Yeah, yeah. That it's just a, an hour and a half long commercial. Yeah. A couple other things you may not know about Jordan Peele before we get over to Ross Thoughts and get to talk to Kathy Paget today. The one and only. Uh, he lived in Netherlands uh, for a few years, for a number of years, actually. Um, the only witness at his wedding was a dog in a Hawaiian shirt. You know who he's married to? No. Chelsea Peretti. Huh. Yeah, the stand-up. The yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah. He's married to Chelsea Pretty. They they uh they eloped. They have a kid, and the only witness at their wedding was a dog in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> That's Is that legal? Dope. Yeah, I don't know. And then uh, lastly here, his his movie Get Out was inspired by that Eddie Murphy comedy bit on Delirious. When he talks about white people and black people act differently when they're in a haunted house. Yes. Like white people is like, get out. They're like, oh, I don't know. We could probably do some wallpaper here. I'm gonna be fine. Right. Black people get out. Like, sorry, we can't say. Yeah. <laughs> you know, his entire that entire movie was based on that on that bit. Huh. Pretty cool. Uh he's an interesting fellow. If you're gonna read about him a little bit. His movies are good. Uh Get Out was a great movie. Yep. Uh, Us was a good movie. Us was good. I did not see Us. You didn't like Nope. Yeah, Nope was not my favorite movie though. I, I did not like that. I didn't think it was all that good. And, and and everybody else loved it. I just didn't I just it didn't score for me. Do you know what Nope stands for? I just learned that recently. Yeah, no other people uh, something what it, N- not of planet Earth. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and it also means nope. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, hard pass. I, I'm not about that though. Whenever they grab regular words and they make it into an acronym, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. no, you don't get the change. You don't. Your period doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you doing woke news tomorrow? I might be. Just checking. What is it you don't like? That whole acronym thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, 407 916 1041. What's coming up for thoughts? Guys. The triumphant return of yeah. my mom. Let's call it for what it is. Sometimes we have my mom on air, and it's an instant best of. People are crying, laughing, and people love my mom. Other times, KP's a legend. She talks about 
using a bathroom on a plane for 10 minutes and yeah. it gets pretty awkward. Right. It gets very, <laughs> very awkward. She's very open. She's very open. A little too much. Well, she called me up this past week, two days ago. I was like, oh, I got great news. She told me the great news and she's going to share that great news for Ross Thoughts today. And by the way, that impression is almost dead on. Yeah, yeah it's right on. <laughs> Ross, man. How's my son doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right. You still being soft? <laughs> like, all right, Mom. All right, 407-916-1041. Back with Kathy Paget and Ross Thoughts right after this. From Hummers to EVs and everything in between, it's been three decades of Real Radio 104.1. Thanks for riding with us over 30 years. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound travel on I-4, still a stop and go ride out of Polk County between U.S. Highway 27 to 429 and also between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Westbound also solid between Osceola Parkway and 417 and we're seeing heavy delays between World Drive and Osceola Polk Line Road. Southbound 417 also busy between Boggy Creek Road and Landstar Boulevard. If you see traffic problems, make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Daytona Beach. Ocean breeze, tropical beach. An air freshener can make your car smell like paradise. A drive to Daytona Beach will actually get you there. Beach on. Plan your trip today at DaytonaBeach.com. Man, here in Central Florida, you have to have an AC company that you can trust, that you can lean on every single day of the week because it doesn't matter if it's winter or spring. It can get hot in the state like it is going to get this week in the 90s on Thursday. That is why your AC has to be ready to go at all times during the year. And this is the most important time. Pre-summer for preventive maintenance plans is the only way to go. These guys at Mills Air can do that for you for sure. They've been doing it for 30-plus years in Central Florida. Let them use that experience to make sure your AC never lets you down when you need it the most. Their tech are awesome. They'll do that job for you. And they know this stuff inside now. Not to mention uh, Mills is a carrier factory authorized dealer, which means you can get up to $1,275 in rebates towards a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier for sure, and you can always turn to Mills Air as well. Family owned and operated. Schedule your appointment today. It's 407-277-1159. Online, it's easy. It's millsair.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. According to Moody's research, from July 2021, the cumulative bond default rate for rated investment grade municipal bonds was 0.10% from 1970 to 2020. Municipal bonds don't usually get the media coverage the stock market does, but if you're looking for a potential source of federally tax-free income, now is an excellent time to consider municipal bonds from Hanyon & Walsh. If you have at least $10,000 to invest, call and talk with one of our bond specialists at 1-800-761-9761. We'll send you our exclusive bond guide free with details about how bonds may be an important part of your portfolio. Henning & Walsh has specialized in fixed income and growth solutions for 30 years and offers high-quality municipal bonds from across the country that are federally tax-free and have historically been low risk. Call today to request your free bond guide. 1-800-761-9761. That's 1-800-761-9761. Investing involves risk, including possible loss of principal. Income may be subject to state, local, or alternative minimum tax. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Do you need your contract license in four short weekends with camp tech school of construction you'll be ready to ace the state exam get legal get licensed get cam tech join us for a free info seminar this thursday night at 7 p.m holiday inn universal camtechschool.com you know what sounds good like really really good a breakfast bagel at mcdonald's and guess what they're back. I'm talking about those freshly toasted bagels with real butter, like a tender steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Or how about a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel? Or what about a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel? Order yours and save 20% when you use the McD app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid 131.23 through 330.23 at participating McDonald's. Valid once per day excludes tax. Cannot be combined with any other offer. McD app download and registration required. No matter what I get, it's 20% off every day when I spend a dollar on the McDonald's app. So yesterday was my please the whole fam on the way to the game meal. Today is my finally get them to stop asking are we there yet meal. Who knows what tomorrow will be. Maybe a delicious crispy chicken sandwich all for myself meal. Whatever it is, it's a win. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid through December 31st, 2023 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Excludes tax. McD app download and registration required. 
I'm Martin Hope, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I've told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Josh, quote, After walking around my whole life being a mouth breather, I was excited to try Navage. I read the directions carefully, pressed the button, and oh my gosh, what a sensation. So much mucus, so much crud, but oh sweet, merciful air, I can finally breathe you through my nose. Never have I ever taken such an amazing breath in my life. This is a life changer, unquote. He's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navage is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. Local or long distance, when it's time to move, let Cento Family Moving and Storage move you. CentoMoving.com. At Morgan & Morgan, the fee is free. You don't pay us anything unless we win your case. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. You're listening to WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Available everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Now number one for podcasting. We are an iHeartRadio station. Listening to the Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch. Yeah, we like it when you watch at the Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407 916 1041. Text us. 77031. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb will rejoin us tomorrow. Jack is here. Hi there. It's time for Ross Thoughts. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. It's weird. The queen. It's funny. Central Florida's mom. Sometimes. Also Central Florida's. It's Ross. Bro. Spelled like sauce. It's Ross Thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, my mom gave me a call earlier this week. She said, Hey, I got great news. You're not going to believe this. And I went, you know what? Let's have that conversation live on air. Please put your hands together for the one and only, my number one, my mom, yeah. Mama Paget. Yay. Thank you, guys. Oh, great. yeah. How you doing, Killer? How you doing? I was bro. Jim the bro. <laughs> <laughs> Your bro- I like it. Your I like bro- it. And look your- at Jack. He looks 15 young I know. years younger. Oh, how about no that? Beard. Shaved his face. Are you flirting with Jack right now? Nah. No. <laughs> okay, that would just shut that down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no. But he does. He does look a lot younger. How are you, Kathy? I am doing great. I have such great news. You, well, before you- we get to those news, I wanted to ask, how's your pinky? Well, that's part of it. Oh, so oh, okay. Pink Here, injury? here's the story. Okay, can you see my pinkies? Yes. Do I have to go closer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those yeah. has been you see pretty your good. Pinky? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got so one. <gasps> this, I know. See how yours are nice and straight, and no, mine's no. crooked. No, no, he's right? got he's got one bent, but not as bent as yours. Yeah, yours is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's called the mallet finger. A mallet That's finger. a name for it, mallet finger. So you got most mallet the, finger? Most of the time, a mallet finger is done by a basketball player. Oh, really? Not Kathy Padgett. So go back to October 22nd. Ross is with Big day. Very next day, I'm in the Lazy River swimming area at the JW Marriott. So I'm going down, all having all kinds of fun. And I come out of the pool and I lift the inner tube over my head. And my right pinky <laughs> just bends and I have no more control over the pinky. So it just, I did it, some, it just, it, I did, I, first I thought I broke it. And then I found out my tendon was jammed and it didn't unjam. So I had to wear a splint. Now, I was doing that, mind you, this is October 23rd, and today is what? February 22nd or 1st, whatever it is. Yeah. Right. So 
I did the splint thing all by myself. I thought, oh, I can do this. Well, about <laughs> January, I said, like a war vet. I think I need to see a hand specialist. So I did. I saw, I saw the hand specialist. He goes, when did you get this done? And I went, October 23rd. He goes, oh, don't tell me. I should have seen you right away. And he goes, yeah, should have seen me right away. So now we put a cast on a pinky. Oh, wow. Really? An actual cast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that was January the 5th. I finally got to my finest final appointment where I graduated from my physical therapy. Well, right. First for everything. And one of the things that they had to test me before they could release me is I had to find out what the grip strength was. Oh, Ooh. now go back to your bit, Mr. Bro. <laughs> That's you, Jim. And remember that the grip strength is totally related to your life expectancy. That's right. We read that story a couple weeks back where I, I said yep. that they, they found out that your grip strength can show other ailments in your body. And then if you have a weak grip, there's a chances are that you may not as live as long as you could. And that has been confirmed by two physical therapists. So you're right on. So here's the good news. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe it. So he gave me the gripper thing and I had to grip it. And he said, just give me how, how hard you can do it. And I said, okay, I did it. And he looked at me, he goes, uh, and now I can't see the numbers. He's got it on his computer screen. And I, he said, um, can you do that again, Kathy? And I went, uh-oh, it must be really bad. And I said, sure. So I gripped it again and he goes, damn, Kathy. You're 75 pounds. I'm like, does that mean I can grip 75 pounds? He goes, no, it's just a measurement of how strong you are. And I said, so is that a good thing? And he goes, well, I can explain to you. Now, mind you, I'm in this physical therapist place. He goes, you see all these people around here? They're probably as your age, if not more. And the typical person of your age can do anywhere between 30 and 40. Pounds. Damn. Wow. Damn. Wow. Is that a, I said, I told uh, Matt, I said, Matt, I'm going to live forever. <laughs> and he looks at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and he goes, what? And I said, no, your grip strength is totally related to your life expectancy. And he goes, where did you hear that? <laughs> I, I got the best person to tell me. <laughs> and wrong. he goes, and, I, and then I said, okay, so I'm 75 in the right. Let me find out what's in my left. So I did I gripped it really hard. And he goes, I said, what is it? And he goes, 68. Wow. And I went, oh man, <laughs> I can hit the ball over 200 yards again. <laughs> Woo! So, so, so I am on cloud nine right now. Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome, by the way. Yeah. Right. My mom's living to 150. So you're <laughs> that's right. With <laughs> you. Your grip strength what? is 68 in your left and 75 in your right. So your right hand dominant. That makes perfect sense, yeah. right? Yeah. But that's, 68. I'm telling you, that's not bad. That's really good. I mean, how is your pinky, by the way? It, it, it's it still looks bent. Is it always going to be bent like that from now on? <laughs> Unfortunately. That's the, that's what it's going to be the rest of my life. Wow, really? There's no surgery they could do to untie that or... or, or no. no. You know where I really... I think I know. Because he asked me, he goes, Kathy, what did you do? And I said, well, I'm embarrassed to tell you. I just lifted an inner tube over my head. Yeah, you were, def he goes, you were defeated by an inflation device. <laughs> yeah. So here's the true story. You ready? Yeah. I use an overlap grip. Yeah, me too. And if you think about it, that little pinky sits right right there. there right there that's exactly where i think i got mine from too so it's so a golf 45 injury five years of hitting golf balls yep that weakened that tendon so um, did your uh i don't did, care i'm living forever yeah <laughs> did, your, did your son call you from the golf course to tell you he shot 34 on the front side at uh magnolia yes, he did that's a tour yes, of course you did. know yeah i balled out that was a good round that's a, that's a tour of golf course they actually played a pga stop there that golf tournament and uh oh i know the magnolia mag, yeah, mag lbv and the palm uh-huh the mag i think is considered the best. Of, well ross will tell you we used to play a lot of junior tournaments at disney every mm. year yeah yeah there's so, um what they call a parent child tournament too um over at disney i don't know if they do that anymore but when i had i had a ton of teams 
that we played against all the other juniors in the state of Florida. It was a lot of fun, but let me get really to the bottom of okay. this because you think okay. you're super strong. Do you think? I do. <laughs> do you think you could out arm wrestle me? Yes. Uh, I think I could do it with my left hand. How's that? You go lefty lefty with him? Uh huh. Man, I don't know. Lefty, I think you maybe got a shot on him. He's pretty weak. Yeah, yeah. What? Do I don't we, know about the right. Do I don't we, know about the right. Do we? But, um, do we agree? I'm, I'm definitely because if if you look at all the instruction with golf is concerned, um, if you're a righty, you are using all of your left side yeah. muscle. Right, right. All right. So that's why a lot of times I take a lefty and turn them righty. Mm -hmm. Really? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a hot take in the golf instruction yeah. world. So, okay. So you and me, left hand, you say you yeah. win. I got you on the right. Another physical thing. Because I always have these thoughts in my brain every day when I wake up. Is Seriously? us competing? <laughs> <laughs> is us competing in physical sports? You and I are both defensive ends. Who's sacking the quarterback more? Um, I like her. Defensive end. Well, that means you got to be really fast off the yeah. line. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to say you would be the stronger one on the defensive end, but the off the defense, like right in front of the the, yeah, the line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wrecking Definitely. ball. Definitely, absolutely. Definitely. Wrecking ball. That's me. Kathy, I need I'll push away and get the quarterback. Kathy, I could get the quarterback before you would because you're running on the outside. There yeah. You go. I need a putting lesson really bad. Can you give me a quick putting tip? Uh, find out what your resting heart rate is, which is probably somewhere between 70 and 75 beats per minute. And then that has to be the tempo of your stroke. God almighty damn. That is so zen. Yeah. yeah right. I mean, that is so zen. I well, thought it was going to be something else. I can else. make it easy for you. When I did some testing years and years ago, I, I had to find my perfect tempo, right? Yep. So I had a meter. I have a metronome right on my phone and I always check it That's the because name. the tempo can never change in the stroke. Do you know it that? Can never, I don't care if it's 30 feet or three feet. The tempo never changes. You know what? That That is one of the biggest things in tour golf right now is guys are making swings and putting on the metronome. That's the newest like. That's the newest. It's not new. I know it's not, <laughs> new, it's not but that, new. But what I'm saying is it it hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't been in favor for a while because I remember it from back in the day. There's that one, two, three thing, that counting thing. One, two, and then three release. But the metronome thing is now a big thing with swings. I haven't seen it used as much with putting, but with the full swing, yeah, that's what they're thing. doing now. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, I, you can I, look at John Rahm's beats. Yeah. He's fast. There's no way he's doing, you know, 70 73 he, beats per yeah, minute. But he also he he makes you know he's like 80. Yeah, three <laughs> three quarters of a golf swing. He doesn't even swing it full, but uh just to give you an idea, like um so Ross and I are playing tomorrow morning, but I played Sunday, and I think Kathy, um, out of the 18 holes, seven of the holes, I hit it inside 10 feet and made nothing. Four of those Did holes. You, four, are you a good green reader? Four of those holes. No, I'm terrible at it. That's that's one of the big things. I've got to learn how to read greens better because I'm telling you, I've lost it completely. My mom is such a breath. God man, you I love gotta it. answer. Four questions. Okay. Before you even make the putt. Okay. Number one, am I going uphill or downhill? Number two, what side of the cup is higher, right or left? Number three, what is the grain telling me? And four, what are the environmental conditions that would affect the roll of the ball? Right. In other words, is it wet, dry? The grain is Windy. the biggest. The grain is Windy. the biggest. And then Florida golf grain is a big player. Anyway, we sure. I can talk about this for the next Bermuda six weeks. Grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, golf. I'm sorry. You got Bermuda grass, so it's totally different than from golf yeah. courses in the north. Well, mom, and quite frankly, that's when the the touring pros come yeah. to Florida. It takes them a lot, a lot of time. To understand grain. Yeah, that Bermuda grass is brutal. As much as I would love to keep talking about golf mom and prove to the world that you are a sentient Coors Light, <laughs> what I got to ask you, what are we going to do with Chase? What are we doing with Chase? My brother, your firstborn. In what terms? <laughs> he. This is what I was thinking. He's living with me right now. He goes, right. he goes and lives with you. Right. So is that for him to learn how to play golf? No, it's just for him to be cooler because you're the coolest mom in the world. Hey, real quick, if you don't mind, Kathy, <laughs> Kathy score. Kathy, relax because I don't want your heart to get racing. What he just said is 
He wants your son to come live with you. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, can you help him? Like, can we teach Chase golf? And no. I got to tell you, that's hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Kathy, look, it's always good seeing you. Congratulations on your grit pressure. Yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> that Ross said you couldn't have been more excited to call today. Oh, oh, I st- I'm telling everybody. I'm telling everybody. <laughs> about your... I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. All right, well, I love it. She's a bull in a china shop, she and is. that china shop is all of our hearts. It we is. love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Hey. You're the best. You're the best. Those are your Ross thoughts. Oh, That's... wait, one more thing. Okay. One more thing. Shoot it. Can, can someone get Ross a spot in Bay Hill for the Pro-Am? Oh, no way. Do you think I'm going to give him that? If I, I've been trying to get into that thing for 25 years. I wouldn't give it to him for nothing. If a, if a Pro-Am spot comes down the line, I'm going. Bad news. Why don't you guys play for it? <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow morning. Deal. I'll see you at way too early. Can yeah, you yeah. do it without cursing? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, if he... If either of you get a spot in Bay Hill, I'm coming. All right, right on. Mom, you know how to end Ross thoughts, right? These are your Ross thoughts. I'm out. Peace. You got to say it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Say it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Okay, that's not exactly what I was shooting for. Peace. Peace. All right. I love you, Mom. I'm out. Peace. Bye, guys. 407-916-1041. Back in a sec. Tonight on Real Radio at 7. It's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and SecuredRoofingAndRestoration.com. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Mike, and Ken. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. Eastbound travel on I-4 is still a stop and go right out of Polk County between U.S. Highway 27 and 429 and also between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Heavy traffic continues westbound, too, between Osceola Parkway and 417, as well as between World Drive and Osceola Polk Line Road. Southbound 417 still heavy near Landstar Boulevard. See traffic problems? Make sure to call the Safe Touch Security Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Paige Carrera. This report is sponsored by Domino. Try Domino's new loaded tots for $6.99 each when you buy two or more. Ask for this limited offer. Availability and charges may vary. Two-item minimum, bread bowl pasta, bone-in wings, and pan pizza will cost extra. Local stores may charge extra for some menu items, crust types, toppings, and sauces. Man, let's get you a new bathroom courtesy of Rebath in Mid-Florida. First things first, let's just start out right there. Let's let you see their stuff. Their showroom is so easy to find. It's up in Altamont Springs. It's right across from Kobe. You'll see it right there. And when you walk in, you're going to see some models set up. Now, don't think that those models are what the bathrooms are. You don't have to go around and go, well, I think I like this one. We'll we'll just go with this one. That's not how it works. Those models are just to show you the products they have, whether it be the stone, natural stone, travertine, and marble, whether it be the designs, the glass, any of that stuff. That's what they're doing. And here's another thing. They're up in all the trends. In other words, you can get a trendy bathroom that fits right in today's culture from Rebath today. That's right. They do it in four to six days. They do it with their employees. That means no subcontractors. And they give you a lifetime guarantee on the products and the install. And, guys, these products are amazing. They're beautiful. Here's what I suggest highly. Go to the website, rebathmidfla.com. Look at the before and afters. They have plenty of them right there. Look what they're doing to those spaces. It is amazing really changing the entire feel of the home, and they can do that for you. Just log on, book your appointment, see what these guys can do for you. It's Rebath, midfla.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. The IRS has just received $80 billion in funding to hire 86,000 IRS agents. If you owe the IRS, now is the time to take action before the IRS comes after you or your business. There's no time to waste. Call J. David Tax Law for a no-cost consultation at 407-603-3962. That's 407-603-3962. Or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Peace of mind is only a click or phone call away. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit millsair.com. I'm Martin Hope the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I've told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Josh, quote, 
After walking around my whole life being a mouth breather, I was excited to try Navage. I read the directions carefully, pressed the button, and oh my gosh, what a sensation. So much mucus, so much crud, but oh sweet, merciful air, I can finally breathe you through my nose. Never have I ever taken such an amazing breath in my life. This is a life changer, unquote. He's one of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navaj is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. On the podcast Really Know Really, join best friends Jason Alexander and Peter Tilden, along with experts, newsmakers, and celebrities, in a search for answers to life's most baffling, intriguing, and annoying questions. You know, those things that make you go, really? No, Really? I think there was a 17-year-old in Rhode Island who ran a candidate that was a defect. Really? Wait, wait, that's news to me. That's, a, that's, that's really no really right there. Really no really. Listen to Really No Really on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, it's R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My sales are frozen. So this month, I've cooked up the craziest icebreaker ever. Right now, I'm paying way over appraised value for any car. Plus, with my dealer next door credit approval process, you could skate home for just eight. Eight dollars down. But hurry, this deal will melt away fast. I'm R.C. Hill, your car dealer next door. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. See details at rchill.com. This is Monster Jam! See the legendary Grave Digger and more. Tear up the dirt with massive stunts, all out racing, and crazy skills. It's adrenaline charged fun for the whole family. Let's hear it! Make some noise! Monster Jam, as big as it gets. Coming to Camping World Stadium March 4th. Brought to you by Big 80 Tires, Morgan & Morgan, Circle K, and your local Ford dealers. At Fifth Third Bank, we give you free checking, never have hidden fees, and help protect your identity. Oh, really? Yep. See, our name equals 166.7%, so we put in that much effort. Well, my name's Jim, so I guess I'm headed to the gym, and I'm going to put in 166.7% effort, too. Oh, I'm proud of you. No one's ever been proud of me. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank, National Association member FDIC. Alphabet Boys is a new podcast series that goes inside undercover investigations. In the first season, we're diving into an FBI investigation of the 2020 protests. It involves a cigar smoking mystery man who drives a silver hearse. And inside his hearse was like a lot of guns. But are federal agents catching bad guys or creating them? He was just waiting for me to set the date, the time, and then for sure he was trying to get it to happen. Listen to Alphabet Boys on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. This hour of programming brought to you by MyHomeBuildersNetwork.com. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike at MyHomeBuildersNetwork.com. Real, 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 real. We now return. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. The wag already in progress. So, Ross, I've always thought since I've started listening to the show a year or so ago that, man, I want to hang out with you. I have had a shot with you at one of your shows, but after listening to your mom on this past segment, I want to hang out with your mom, <laughs> hands down. Probably even go play a golf round of golf with her, um, and then you can tag along if you'd like. Deal. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack and Ross are here as well. Deb will be back with us tomorrow. Taking the day off to recoup from a horrible headache experience yesterday. We'll hear all about it tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, she's okay, everybody. Yeah, yeah she is. Um, today's Central Water Job Market, more competitive than ever. Don't be discouraged, though. You can attend the Florida Jobs Now Job Fair, March 1st from noon until 4 at the Orlando Science Center. Connect with over 70 recruiters right here in central florida some even offering spot interviews like right there your next career could be right in front of you march 1st at the florida jobs now job fair orlando science center right there on princeton avenue presented by SeaWorld and aquatica get more info at fljobsnow.com that's fljobsnow.com we do it every year it's a big deal deb's gonna be out there for a few hours um hanging out with you guys until she has to come in and do the show so uh go out there and get yourself a job a lot of people out there offering gigs um, tons of different companies, textures of jobs from HR up to welding and plumbing. It's everything's in between. 
some hiring on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's presented by SeaWorld and Aquatica, as you mentioned, but uh, fljobsnow.com. Had a really good meeting this morning with uh, uh, the Fort Hart United Way people this morning. Had a little uh, connection there. And uh, it's a really unique um, organization here. So Fort, we're going to be talking to them a lot more here coming up because they do a lot of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it's about time to fire up some charitable things. You know, all the other shows do charitable things for the station. My goal, I'm a singular-minded person, so number one goal was to get the show in a good position where everybody's happy, the ratings are good, we're making money for the station, and then we can branch out into other things. So it's about time to do that. And I'm not a hundred on what we're going to do yet, but um, something to do with uh, something to do with job creation, I think maybe. As long, may, maybe we can throw in some sort of movement to, yeah. to cancel the whole dog yeah, yeah. head thing out of the window. I don't man. think that's going to make it. I don't think that's going to make not. it through. I mean, it's got to go through two. I mean, it's got to go through the um, um, the house. And the Senate here, I don't, I don't, I just don't think it's going to make it through. I, I, it's too American. I mean, the declawing thing—you could say, well, I mean, I, I could say that you don't want people declawing cats. That seems cruel and unusual. But I mean, just come on, man. So, is there a rash of problems with dogs hanging their head out the window? Like, is, is there like a rash of wrecks being caused by that, or crashes, or? Or road hazards being there's caused a, by that? There's a rash of smiles yeah, being that's, caused. I, 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 that's the thing is, I don't understand. I don't understand the goal. I mean, we don't have a big problem with this. Like, there's no massive traffic issue that's like, oh, here, uh, today again, you know, a dog with its head hanging out the window caused another 14-car pileup. That doesn't happen. I love when my dog sticks her head out the window, and then she comes back in the car, and she looks like Doc Brown. <laughs> yeah, just went on some, like, time, yeah, time travel <laughs> expedition. Her mind is being blown. It's like she's eating shrooms for the first time. Let me ask you guys this question. Uh, you guys were, uh, you went to no college. You did go to college. I did. But you, you, went, you went later in life. Uh, I went to college for about six, seven hours. Okay. Yeah, I did a semester right out of high school, then stopped, and then nine and a half years later, went back. And then earned your degree. Yes. Now, we all did high school. Were you guys party years in high school? Yes. You were? Jack no. a little bit? No? Yeah. Not at all? I was also the dancer at all the parties. Yeah, okay. Where they would shut the lights off and then pull out like, their cell phones. In a cage? And did they you... would light me, and then did... I would just dance really oh, messed up. They didn't have cell phones when we were in high school. Did you, uh, was there a lot of drinking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys have names for drinks that you would make? I mean, I know everyone knows Hunch Punch, right? I mean, I've heard of you... Hunch Punch, but I think everybody makes their own Hunch Punch but that's their what own I mean. way, right? I mean, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hunch Punch is like bathtub juice, or bathtub juice, right? Yeah, you go to the bathtub or a, a sink or whatever, you pour in a bunch of juice and ice and liquor, and you make this punch, and everybody just dips their cup in there. It's like cult drinking, right? All right. What are the other names for drinks? Bug juice. What was bug juice? I've never heard of bug yeah, juice. Same thing. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like a mix. <laughs> whatever liquor and fruit juices you have. Do you have another one? We had uh, we had a thing called a half and half. I'm it was, assuming uh, that was... half Jim Beam, half Coke. Yeah. <laughs> so I also had that, but it wasn't just Jim Beam. It was just we were going half and half tonight, which means we were going to get drunk. Oh yeah, yeah, gotcha. pouring just stiff, yeah, drinks stiff the drinks. whole night. Well, there's a new one out there. Uh oh. Tell me what you think a Borg is. A Borg? Yeah. What's a Borg? Something with Jaeger. Nope. A Borg is not a specific drink. Okay, it's not a specific, it doesn't have, it's a, it is a, it's an acronym. It's an acronym for a, for a, for a, a drink. Beer and orange juice. You know what, that's actually not bad, but it's Borg with a G. So it's Borg, maybe, I don't know. Borg? Beer and orange goose. No. <laughs> Plus it's B-O-R, not beer and. I can tell you, I, I don't know what Borg is. Sounds fun, though. I'm down to drink it. It's insane. Maybe not. Borg stands for Blackout Rage Gallon. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Getting right to the specifics of the evening. Yeah. Uh, it said, in the recent college drinking hack going viral on TikTok is the personal thing called the Borg Blackout Rage Gallon. You take a gallon of milk, you pour it out, and you fill it with water, alcohol, and your drink enhancer of cor of choice. So whatever juice or whatever it is, Coke, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Oof. Sprite, whatever the case may be, and you slam an entire gallon of this. It's a Borg, a blackout rage gallon. Sounds like um, any episode of the News Junkie. <laughs> right, exactly. 50-50 ratio vodka with vodka are very popular on TikTok. 
there's Borg TikToks that have a million views of kids drinking blackout drinking out of gallon jugs. And if you watch it, you support it. Yeah, you're right. You're giving, I, didn't, I, that, I didn't see the, right, the videos. Well, they're getting clicks. Yeah, you know, but 1,500 comments on one with 1. 1.9 million views. Being told that last week, the news junkie did Borg it up on did, a Friday. On, on did the they show? really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We got we to gotta Borg it. We I've do got, not. They, they, they yeah, made a blackout rage gallon. That's what they they each, mm-hmm. each made one of their own flavor. What's wrong with beer? I Nothing's love beer. wrong with beer. It makes you pee too much though. That's the only thing I like about beer. I like it. I it's like a, it. It's just constant urinating. Man, what's wrong with that? I just it's a lame. It's, it's fun. Too tired of getting up and doing it all over again. Get a small little you know lonely session with you and your thoughts. Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. I was telling you the story earlier. I never got to the rest of it. Um, buddy of mine comes over, uh, to, uh, or talking to him here recently. And he, uh, sends me a photograph of, uh, he and his brother and his brother and myself years ago were like thick as thieves. I mean, for a couple of years, we just ran around skateboarding and stuff. And we were like, you know, I was literally part of their family. And the older brother is my, is, you know, very close friend. And his younger brother used to be a very close friend. And his younger brother just kind of pieced out from the family for like four years, like no contact, no nothing. I mean, just, you know, just ghosted everybody. And then out of nowhere, just showed up at their house the other day. The prodigal son. And yeah. Just showed up <laughs> yeah. out of nowhere and just like said, Hey man, you know, I, I screwed up. Sorry. Never going to do it again. My B. And just did that. You guys, I mean, I, I, how would you react to that? You know, well, how, if how it's a Bible story, you welcome him in and yeah, you yeah. kill the fatted calf. <laughs> is that what it, you do? Yeah, that's the prodigal <laughs> the pro- son. Is it when, really? Yeah, the one son got pissed because the, the son who went off party lost the money. Then he came back and he was treated like a king. And the dad was happy that his son was back. So the family's back together. Oh, the parable was don't be jealous or whatever? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and and the, while the other kid felt that, well, I worked the whole time. I, I should get more. And it's like, no, you got what was promised to you, and you know, but we're all so happy that our Ooh, the other son came back. Well, that's a good parable. Yeah. I, I remember that loosely. That's a good one. I'm kind of I, I would be super pissed too. I'm kind of with the son who says, like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really with the son who I've says been, what? I've been working the whole damn time. <laughs> and was, you've been enjoying all the, the yeah. trappings that I've been able to provide for you. That's not the point. Yeah. There's got to be some punishment. I need dad to be mad at you. Yeah, See? I, I need dad and mom to be really mad at you for a short period of time. And I'm going to get more dinner tonight. Because right. of it. Right. You bet your ass. You have to have a punishment. <laughs> right. Something. You couldn't ghost your mom and Chase and just disappear for four years, no contact, no nothing, and then just waltz back into the house and everything's fine, right? No. But, but can I tell you, Jack is 100% right because mom was bear hugging him the whole time. I they mean, got, there, there was no. They got their baby back. There That's was, it. There was no anger at all. That's no, it. nothing. Matter of fact, the brother was like in tears. He was so happy he was home. Yeah, that's that's all you, you're hoping for. It's all you're praying for is that they return home. And this guy is one of the most. Uh, you talk about one of the sweetest dudes. By the way, the entire family's like this. The older brother, who's a good friend, is one of the sweetest people you could ever meet in your entire life. And his brother, last I saw him, he was probably, you know, nineteen, twenty years old. This was years ago. And again, just the softest, sweetest soul you could ever meet. And uh, just like probably shame had a lot to do with that, maybe if I had to guess. I mean, and that's be... what happens when you when you go estranged for a while. You just you know, you just you know, that's kind of what happened with my dad and I. You just kind of lose contact. You don't even know how to communicate anymore. Like you don't you don't know what to do. You got to relearn it. It is. It's it's really right. bizarre. You really you don't know what to do. You're like, well, I don't you know I don't I don't know what you've been doing. I don't know what's going on. You know, so it's hard to kind of create a conversation. See, the lesson is no matter how far we stray from the father he'll always welcome us back i got you yeah, yeah. i understand boy <laughs> thanks google <laughs> there's no but there's no but in the in the in the in the in the biblical sense there's no but yeah. because that's what jesus would have done yeah he, he wouldn't have complained he just said hey welcome back you're safe and we're happy for that uh, like you live an honest upstanding moral life and then you have your brother who's doing whatever he's doing all right. But at the very end of his life, if he repents, that he is going to get into heaven just like you. That's true. All right, so there's no buts. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, by the way. That's, that's how the Bible reads. Like you, He could live a life of complete debauchery yeah. up until the month before he died, 
It's and, a guttural, and, yeah. And you could be a missionary making yeah. no money, living your entire life in service, and you guys go to the same exact heaven or, and are received the same exact way. I'm not saying but. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard one for a lot of people to grasp, by the way. Uh, Can I say, however? <laughs> I think this is a however situation. You could say, as an aside. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. I, <laughs> I a, think there's got to be a better tier of heaven. That's the, that's the <laughs> toughest. That's one of the toughest religious, well, Christian religious lessons yeah. you will learn is that deeds do not get you into heaven. That is what the Bible teaches. In other words, you could be a very good person, live your entire life as servitude to other, other humans, do nothing but good your entire life. Never besmirch anybody. Great husband, great father. But if you haven't accepted Jesus into your heart as your personal savior, according to Christianity, that none of that that is all for naught. So you nail your entire life, but right on your deathbed, as you're about to flatline, your last thought is, "What if there isn't a higher power?" Flatline, not going to heaven. No, I don't know if it. I don't know if it works that easily, but I don't know the nuances, but. Jack, you're I, the closest thing well, I have to a priest. No, oh, you are in trouble, and my I mean friend. That in every definition. <laughs> yeah, tell us more, uh, guy in chili pepper shirt. <laughs> yeah, tell us more about how to be closer to God, <laughs> as you and Anthony Kiedis do lines off a of 14 year old's back. Easy. That's what he did. I got baptized. I honestly. There you th- go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you uh, you have a pretty oh, good you know knowledge. What? You have a pretty good knowledge of the Bible. You went to a uh, 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 Catholic school. Did you're, you know you're not? Baptist, you're, and you're not a religious person, but you are a spiritual person. Would you say that? Yeah, I think that there's plenty of things that I have grown to feel very comfortable in not knowing. Right, right, right. And that I don't ne- have the need to know. Right. Is your mother a very spiritual person? That's a, I. I would say so. Yeah, I would think she almost has to be. Right. I mean, she was. Every now and then, she still talks to me. It's, about how my grandma, her mom, yeah. is like a bird. It's hard to be a Republican and not be a Christian. Yeah, yeah. Let me just give you a heads up there. It's really tough to do that and not and not have some form of faith uh, because a lot of the Republican tenets are built around uh, Christian values, theoretically, of course. They're supposed to be. Is that accurate, Jack? you like that? At one time, that was true. Then everything just gets morphed and bastardized into selling whatever you're Democrat, selling. Democrats have never had that reputation, right, of being a faith based or having a faith aspect to their uh, to that to that party. I, is it is it is is that kind of because Democrats get riddled with that a lot of being like anti God or anti religion or whatever. Uh, because of the abortion issue and a number of other things. Which I think is extremely unfair. Yeah, it's, it's definitely more individual uh, than that. And it's actually, that is one of the stereotypes I took with me right. to church when I when I went back to church. Because uh, I went with a chip on my shoulder thinking it was, you know, I was just waiting for them to start, you know, giving me some of this right-wing propaganda. And I, I remember going into the church with a... Uh, a John Kerry shirt from 2004. In, in 2004. Oh, you were looking for a fight. I was. And what an the, ass. And and the priest said, I like your shirt. Oh, yeah. And then we talked politics, and I found out he was the coolest guy and pretty damn liberal. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's a, it, it is kind of weird. Catholics yeah. would find a weird crease yeah. in that Christianity thing when it comes to politics. I mean, there, there is a weird crease, because Kennedy was a... Was a Catholic. Yeah, is Joe Biden. Yeah, Biden's yeah. a Catholic. Would you guys feel uncomfortable if I got baptized? No, I mean I wouldn't, but you, you no. If, well, I'd but, be here. But in the in the world of Christianity, when you do that though, it's a serious thing. You know, it's like taking the sacrament as a Catholic. You don't you don't it's not just juice and a piece of bread. It you know, it has an actual meaning and it's supposed to be taken seriously. I mean, that's the thing, is that like if it's taken so seriously, I why did I do it when I was six? When, right. You know. Well, I mean, you know what when yeah. I was playing Street Fighter. I think a lot of that stuff has to do with like mom and dad. Of course, being baptized at six, I think, is more for them than it is for you. I mean, I don't know that you can have a grasp of a higher power at six years old. You understand God and Jesus right. and, and fun stories from the Bible or whatnot, but you don't have a real grasp of the depth of a religion and what it means. And the commitment your parents make at that time is to raise you in that right. uh, with that knowledge and then it's your confirmation is you taking the responsibility to be in charge of your own uh, religious education and experience yeah. from that point on. Yeah, your faith destiny. Is it okay if I'm still pissed? Probably not. That I ahead. dedicated my entire life to God, 
my brother, at the very end of his life, goes, Oh, yeah, I, I love God. I follow God. Big God guy, me. Me, 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 me. Yeah, well, and then guy. we see each other in the same VIP room of heaven. This is this. It depends. Was your brother sincere in that moment? Yeah, yeah, it, that's it's the thing. more than just saying it to convince someone. Yeah, there's no, there's yeah. no baptizing insurance. Yeah. There's no God insurance. You have to actually believe it. Can, God knows. Can you get baptized on your deathbed? Do they, yeah, buddy, you can do. Yeah, they can do it with a drop of water on your forehead. That's just, you know, uh, I'm sure that situation has gone poorly a handful of times. You ever heard of being anointed? No. Take a little piece. Of, uh, they'll take olive oil and rub it on your forehead. That's a uh, that's the hard course of like in the Pentecostal church. They it's do also that. a fast way for acne. Holiness Church does that as well. I'm not those are the serious ones. But if you want to have a religious experience? Go to a Pentecostal or Holiness Church. Because I've been that'll, wanting to go back to church. Just like that'll you know, terrify you. Catch my vibes. I think you're more of a Baptist guy. More I a, am a more, Baptist more guy. More of a progressive Baptist guy. You know, they're 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 molding religion to be to be more acceptable now. They have like Mumford and Sons in the uh in the choir now. Like that church we went to a couple times down on Highway 50. Uh, there's an old movie theater. I forget what the name of it is. And you go in there and like the sound system is amazing. Like I, I would just like just play play music all day. We'll be just this is fine. This is great. And well, the problem is, of course, a lot of those pastors succumb to the evils of man because they're just men. And unfortunately, people in the congregation hold them up higher and then make them the deity and, you know, lose track of what they're, they're really there for. That happens a lot. Happened in every church I've been in. Every single church I've been a member of, the leader has fallen to the flesh. Oh, my God. dude, This is so, you are a poet. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. 100%. Every single church I've been a member of, uh, the the pastor has fallen because of women. Well, because of his, I'm going to say this. Not because of women, because of his own un, undisciplined ways. Yeah, and you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's them. I can't say it's on the woman. It has right. nothing to do with a woman. It's them. They were not disciplined. They did not have the faith well enough, and they failed. But if they ask for forgiveness and are truly repentant, right behind your brother in line, then going in. But it's like different tiers of heaven. 407 916 1041. You can text us at 77031. Back in a sec with last call. Load them up now. Again, that's 407 916 1041. Real radio is the news junkie. He said, Can you please return the $1,800 that I mistakenly sent to your account via Zelle? If the person on the other end doesn't oh. do anything, are they in trouble? Like, if I accidentally send. C Lane, two thousand dollars via Venmo. Try it out. I'm not. No, I'm no not, I think that's a good point. I'm not taking part in this experiment. The News Junkie, weekdays at eleven on Real Radio 104.1. From the Rude Air Conditioning Weather Center, powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast and the heat is on. This is more of like an early June pattern than a late February one with highs near 90 starting tomorrow and continuing through the weekend. And yes, it'll be record breaking heat. Overnight, we'll see a low of 62, dense fog developing. For tomorrow, the sun comes out during the mid to late morning, the high 89. That'll break the daily record. And there's a possibility we hit 90 on Thursday. And if so, that would be the first time in February in 61 years for Orlando. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Hiring can be a headache. That's why there's Indeed, the hiring platform that removes the hassle. Sponsor a job and immediately get a short list of quality candidates. And you can schedule and conduct video interviews right on their site. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Man, Jim here with my friends over at Solar Bear. Last year right here in Orlando, they jacked those utility rates a couple of times, actually three, and they're thinking about doing it again. But the cool thing is you don't have to go along with those rate increases. Now is the time to go solar with Solar Bear. They're the number one solar installer in the state of Florida, and they can help eliminate your power bill in 2023. Not to mention, Solar Bear is the highest rated and reviewed solar company in the state. They're locally owned and operated, and that means no subcontractors. All you have to do, just visit solarbear.com today and get that free estimate. Find out what they can do for you. And right now, zero down, 0% interest, and no payments for 12 months with credit approval. Say goodbye to your electric bill, but say hi to Solar Bear. SolarBear.com. Daytona Supercross is more than the race that defines careers and the sound of revving engines echoing in your ears. It's more than the brutal competition on the gnarliest course that I've designed to date. It's your heart thumping from being closer to the action than you've ever been before. The atmosphere. 
Under the Lights. I'm Ricky Carmichael, and this is Daytona Supercross. Do you feel it? You will. Saturday, March 4th at the World Center of Racing. Get tickets and tracks on access at DaytonaInternationalSpeedway.com. Hi, this is Joe Cordell with the law firm Cordell & Cordell. When the prospect of divorce becomes a reality, you need a partner that you can count on. If you're a man in this situation, consider contacting Cordell & Cordell. We've helped men navigate complex legal matters for 30 years. Contact Cordell & Cordell to schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Orlando area attorneys, a partner men can count on. Office in Orlando, online at CordellCordell.com. Lisa Cargis, Florida resident partner. Joseph Cordell, licensed in Missouri and Illinois only. The car market went crazy high during COVID, then it came down crazy hard, and now I believe it's coming back up. Call me crazy, call me a gambler, but I'm buying cars higher than I was a month ago because I think that they're firming back up. The highest price of the year of the 30 years I've been doing GiveMeTheVin.com is spring, and spring is right around the corner. Sell me your car at GiveMeTheVin.com. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can. Every parent wants their child to find happiness in whatever path they choose. Florida Prepaid has a plan to help you support them by affordably and confidently saving for college. Our 529 prepaid plans start at $45 a month, and you have the peace of mind knowing that when you lock in 2023 prepaid plan pricing, your payment will never go up. It's inflation-proof and further proof that it's the best way to ensure the brightest future. Enroll by February 28th and get $50. Find your plan today. Tommy Mello here, owner at A1 Garage Doors. Growing up, my mom worked three jobs to save our house. She's the most important person in the world to me. When she moved into her new house, I replaced all the parts the builder had put on with parts that were built to last. The garage door is the smile of your home. Don't wait. Call A1 Garage Door Service and you'll be smiling today. Take advantage of our $129 winter tune-up special that includes a new bottom rubber on your garage. A1 Garage.com. The way healthcare works today can be frustrating. So many different doctors to keep track of, different tests, different medications, it's a lot. Welcome to Village Medical, a whole new kind of primary care covered by most Medicare plans. Here your own doctor coordinates all of your care for you, even talking to your specialists and your pharmacist to manage prescriptions. There's a lot more about Village Medical that we think you'll love. When's the last time you said that about healthcare? Go to villagemedical.com and become a patient today. Are you ready for Bike Week? Come join us for not one, but two free concerts brought to you by Rich Newsom, Motorcycle Lawyer. That's right, two free concerts at the world-famous Cackleberry Campground in New Smyrna Beach. Come out and see Confederate Railroad Sunday, March 5th, followed by Colt Ford Thursday, March 9th. Shows start at 8 p.m. We can't wait to see you there. Brought to you by Rich Newsom, Motorcycle Lawyer. For more details, visit BigBikeLaw.com. All the radio stations you love, every playlist to match your mood, the podcasts that everyone's talking about. If it's on the iHeartRadio app, it's free. Download the free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. iHeartRadio. More than ever, we are reimagining our homes as places of retreat. We're minimizing stress and maximizing space. We're dreaming of spa-like bathrooms, complete with beautiful vanities to hide the clutter and make room for candles. We're wishing we could de-stress in a soaking tub or under a rainfall shower at the end of a long day. Make this the year that dream becomes your reality with Home Outlet. Our guaranteed lowest prices put quality products within budget and dream spaces within reach. Visit us in store or online at homeoutlet.com. This hour of Real Radio brought to you by FloridaJobsNow.com, coming March 1st. We now return, we now return to the Jim Colbert the Show. Jim Colbert Show. When I was a kid, my mom took me to church, and I used to hear people talk in tongues. And uh, they'd be doing all that baptism and, you know, shaking and, and et cetera. That just blew up my Christianity. I'm like, these people are crazy. Like, <laughs> what are you shaking for? Yeah. yeah, that was my childhood, buddy. That was a I'm telling you. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Last call is packed. 
hanging with us, guys. We'll be with you in just one second. That's kind of church I grew up in, um, which was a Pentecostal church. It was fire and brimstone. It was rattlesnakes. People speaking in tongues, just short of the strict nine rattlesnake thing. We were just just short of that. That's a that's a Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi thing. I didn't see much of that in in Florida. But it was on its way down until it wasn't. Oh, it's just one step below it. The church I was in is one step below that. I will tell you what happens. Um, so I would regularly, this is at six, seven years old, eight, nine years old. I would regularly go to church and um, people would get caught up in what they call the spirit, right? They get caught up in the spirit. They start dancing and speaking in tongues and, oh you know, God. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, raising their hands up. And I mean, this would go on for, you know, 45 minutes, an hour or whatever. Then they would fall on the ground and go into like a catatonic state. So imagine at seven, six, seven, eight, nine years old, you look up at the front of your church and there's 10 grown adults uh, covered up in white sheets because after they would you know, be passed out in the spirit, they would just cover them up in a white sheet as if they were dead. Oh my God. <laughs> you make so not, much more sense now. Not done. We would leave church and come back that evening for the evening services, still there, wow. laying still on the ground under a sheet, you know, passed out in the spirit. That was common. That was a common thing in my childhood. That sounds like some board juice. I would have um, the the preacher was a female, which, by the way, is, you know, really, if you look at the, the, the tenets of the Bible, women, if, you know, as we read it, as Baptists have read it, do not, they're not supposed to be preachers. Like women in the... Uh, Bible are not supposed to be leaders of churches, right? This one was, which was kind of weird because it's one of the most strict of all the religions, and a woman was the preacher. Commonly, on Sunday mornings, a foot from you, screaming how you're going to burn in hell. Seven years old. And all I wanted was a piece of cherry juicy fruit. (laughs) Uh, uh, 407-916-1041. Jack? Who do we have to thank today, brother? Oh, we definitely have one big thank you to go out to Mama Paget. That's right, Mama Page today, Kathy Paget. By the way, if you want to podcast any of the show, you missed any of the segments, just go to jumpcorporatelive.com. You can do that, whether it be Ross Thoughts featuring Kathy Paget or any of the other segments. What'd you do that's new? Colbert Court, you know, um, Scott Maxwell, Animal House, they're all right there. And of course, tomorrow for Animal House, the triumphant return of Paw Fection. Daryl Payne and Penny Payne will be in tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing them. Is I Penny them. coming too? I, don't, I Probably, if I had to guess. I mean, she would always make the trip, almost always. Ah, pressure's uh, on now. We have a poll today? Uh, we actually did have a poll. It's on Twitter. It's at Jim Colbert Show. Um, that's <laughs> not our Twitter. Actually, I can't access our Twitter. All right, don't worry about so it. So it's at Real Radio 1041. It's brought to you by My Home Builders Network. And today's question was Do you do more household chores than your spouse or significant other? Oh, man, that's interesting because uh, I'll say 65% say yes. And we're done. 65 on the number? Nailed it. <laughs> there you go. Well, it, it should be 50%. <laughs> it should be 50. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's getting screwed out of 15% <laughs> of some work. Somebody needs to sweep. I thought it was going to be higher as people saying they do more, but yeah. no, it came in at 65. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Raw stand up? No. Okay. But Orlando City Stadium th- or Exploria Saturday. Stadium this Saturday. Opening game, man. Week one opening match. season That's opener right. against the New York Red Bulls. Vamos Orlando. Let's ride. <laughs> Big T, last call. All right, so here's why Borging is not the worst college trend ever. Half a gallon of water, you put in your electrolyte uh, uh, powdered juice, and then you mix in your flavor, <laughs> put in your alcohol. There you go. You got hydration, electrolytes. And you're drunk. Yeah, that was the, by the way, thanks, Big T. That was the thing back in the day is it would mix with Gatorade because it, the thing was, oh, it'll go better, it'll go faster in your blood system. It'll get it'll get yeah. in your system faster <laughs> if you mix it with Gatorade. Those were dumb. Fido, last call. Ruff, man, screw that bitch, Lauren. Ruff. Okay, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. <laughs> people mad about that. That's our first dog. That's how you get. A, that's how you empower people. Tell that's them a, you're gonna t- take their pet rights away. That's a big. That's a big deal right there. Uh, Piper, last call. Hey, you guys, first time caller. Love the show. Thank you. Love the topics that you speak about and you're super funny. I just had a comment about uh, the Bible. I think, yes, it's true what you said that all you have to do is accept Jesus to have eternal life. But I do believe that 
you be rewarded for the things you do here on Earth. So don't fret. All right, good, good. The right thing. Thanks, Piper. I appreciate that. We needed that heads up. Ross was getting real bummed out. Yeah, I'm with Piper, man. There's got to be some <laughs> one tier of heaven has to have well, free cheesecake. Well, maybe <laughs> some of the rewards are happening to you now. Yeah. Have you seen your wife? Touche. Yeah, yeah, very good. She's like the chocolate fountain of Golden Corral. The best thing in the house. Boom. Jay Weezy, last call. Weird flirt. Since, That's not a since flirt. Since we were on the topic of religion, I'm atheist, but I'm also dyslexic, so I sit around all day and wonder if there's a dog or not. Okay, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Who did that bit? That's a Stephen Wright bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mike, last call. Take us home. Uh, Mike, um, estranged and strange, the buzzer, Larson here. Jim, I started dating somebody new, and I'm excited. But she's ugly. You know how ugly she is, Jim? How's that? She's so ugly that when she goes to the bank, they turn the cameras off. Can't talk to me. The <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, Mike, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was drunk today. What a gift. That was so, so good. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Deb comes back tomorrow. On behalf of Deb, Jack, and Ross, I am Jim. We follow the news junkie. They follow the monsters in the morning. After us, it's Tom and Dan with the corporate time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow for more of the Jim Colbert Show around 3 o'clock. Thanks for listening. We'll see you then. Lord have mercy. A corporate time with Tom and Dan is coming up next on Real Radio 104.1.